Hello. Hello, guys and gals. <laughs> I forgot how to start the stream. It's been a while since I've been on the set. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> is, this I, is this like your first day of streaming? Probably? Yeah, actually. Like, uh, I'm so hi. I'm so used to doing it in, in just like my bedroom that I forgot what it's like to talk on this set again. Yeah, I was right. like, oh wait, uh, this is on my channel. Hi guys, don't adjust your screens. You are on the Giguk channel, but uh, <laughs> we are live from the Trash Taste uh, After Dark Studio, yeah. and I am joined today by our co-host, guys. It's me, Jonathan the Manga Boy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Because you may notice from the title of this stream that uh, we are not going to be talking about anime today, which is why I was able to convince Joey to join me. Yep. Uh, but we are going to be talking about manga. Oh, finally, something yeah. I can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so, finally. so we have the anime zone and the manga lad As me. with us today. How's it feel to be back on the set, Joey? Yeah, live feels, again yeah it feels good man i don't dead ass i don't even remember when the last time i streamed was <laughs> yeah like, can someone in the chat figure that out i actually want to know how long it's been yeah joey um joey looked at my twitch and he was like wait you did a eight hour stream two days ago I and i'm like I've ever done an eight hour stream <laughs> yeah, yeah and i'm like yeah actually yeah i did joey hi yeah, uh I, I, I stream every now and again now yeah he's, he's just built diff man i can't do it Yes. Oh yeah, I did the blindfolded Pokemon stream. Oh, how long ago was that? <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> Actually, no, that was not, I think that was like a few months ago. I think it was before I went to AX. Oh, okay. So okay. I think it was like June or something like that. I don't know. But how long, how long did that take? Uh, I beat Brock in two hours. Wait, only two hours? blindfolded bro, bro you want to try it <laughs> no i don't i spent 30 minutes in the in in the you know the first town with like brock yeah i, I spent lit dead i spent 30 minutes trying to find the entrance to the gym oh my God. i'm like lit because the only thing because you're completely blindfolded right so your only like way to get around is to one memorize the map and two hear the very subtle sound that the character makes when he runs into a wall and yep. just be like all right there's a wall here and there's a wall here so i have to go this way and i just doing right. that for like 30 minutes and just pissing off my viewers. Do you want to know what I was in for eight hours on stream? What? Uh, t take a guess, Joey. Take, I don't, take I, a guess. I don't take know. a guess how I could be streaming for eight I don't hours. Know. Probably, what some, could it probably some gacha game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> probably some gacha game. Some non distinct game some that is not start, that is not sponsoring this stream this no, time. No, no. It's just some yes. game you're, you're well familiar with. But yes. we're not talking about that today. We're talking about something that. I have been waiting, oh, actually both of us have yes. been waiting to talk about uh, some brand new manga for you guys because we are back once again with another Next Manga Awards stream. Now, what is the Next Manga Awards? Well, as the name suggests, the Next Manga Awards is an award that they hold every single year, which basically highlight or celebrate up and coming new manga that has the potential to be maybe the next big anime. Yeah, or the probably next will. Manga. Yeah, yeah, and you know, in the past, uh, you know, we've done a couple of these next manga award streams now, so we've had the chance to kind of be on the forefront of brand new manga that is coming out. And I must say, man, they've been pretty fucking spot on. <laughs> I this is this is uh, my secret source to yeah. keeping ahead about uh, keeping ahead of the curve with yeah. what's about to be popular. Not even next year, yeah, but like in two or three years yeah, in the near future. Yeah. Uh, so I will say. If you tuned in last year, I will make a confession. It was pre-recorded, <laughs> but I promise you guys, I promise you guys this year, there is no pre-recording. Yes, yeah, so we can read the chat right yeah. now. Wait, was that the one that I was on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, we didn't do a, we, we didn't do a live oh, stream that, together, oh, Joey. that was pre-recorded, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I completely forgot about yeah. that. Uh, there was this funny moment uh, where, cause the reason it was pre-recorded uh, was because uh, we were on tour. We were on our Europe that's tour. That's right, that's right. And I remember we were boarding this plane, right? And then Connor being the fucking, you know, terminally online Twitch streamer that he is. Yeah. He, we're on the plane, he turns on Twitch. And he turns to me <laughs> and he goes, Gaunt, you're live. <laughs> <laughs> Fell right into the trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he looks at the phone, looks at me and is like, what's- Oh yeah, no, I remember. What's we were, going that's on? That's right. No, I, I 
vividly remember that because we were in the airport in Denmark. <laughs> yeah. And then I even I was like, wait, what? <laughs> How, is that yeah. was that like a mistake? And then I looked at it, I was like, oh yeah, that. Of course. That's of right, course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. But this time we are live, guys. We can read the chat. We can see all the cake W's. Touch your nose if it isn't pre-recorded, Giga. Yes. That's what he's yes. saying. See, yes. we're, we're reading yes. the chat, It isn't guys. pre-recorded. So this time we're actually live, uh, and we are going to be covering, I'd say, a lot more manga than last year. I think yeah. last year we covered the top five in each category, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So yeah. to break down um, the exact specifications of the next manga awards, they need to be manga that have less than five volumes yes. out. Yeah. So there are they are the newest ones right mm. off the presses. So sometimes I do these awards and people are like, oh, why didn't you uh, mention JJK? Or One Piece as one of the best manga of the last year because yeah. that popped off last year, right? Sure. But we are not awarding manga that were good that came out in the last year. Mm -hmm. We are awarding literally the newest manga, mm -hmm. the newest titles to drop. Yeah. A lot of, some of which don't even have an official English translation yet. That's yes. how new we're talking about. Yeah. So, so some of these mangas you might not have heard of. Yeah. Some of them are only available in Japan and some are, or you know, only have a few volumes or a few chapters translated yeah. right now. Yeah, so this isn't this isn't so much a, a show where we talk about, as, as Garn said, the, the big hits of like the last couple of years or whatever. If anything, the majority, if not all of the manga we're going to be talking about today, you guys have probably never heard of, maybe read, maybe even seen. And this is the whole point of the next Manga Awards is to get people to know if you want to read new manga and you want to keep up with the the, the best out there that is coming out within the next year or so, or within the last year or so, then these are the ones to look out for. Yeah, and I can't state enough the prestige mm. of these awards. Yeah. Let's have a look at some of the past winners just to show you yeah. what kind of mangas have won this in the past. Yeah. Uh, so we've had past winners, you know, you know, small indie mangas <laughs> like uh, Oshinoko. Don't have, have you heard of it? Free Ren came in third. Third yeah. in its year. <laughs> Which only became what, like, literally yeah. the most talked about anime of the past year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a few years ago, I presented Medalist, which I'm mm. so looking forward to this anime coming out. Medalist, mm. I believe, is coming out either this year or next year. Oh, really? And uh, that was genuinely one of the favorite one of my favorite manga that i read in 2022 Hell yeah. behind the soap uh, behind the supermarket smoking with you which i made a video on as well i yep. highly highly enjoyed that mm -hmm. um and uh we've also have do we have another slide with winners or is that it uh, I believe that's it. Oh, 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 oh. that's the, oh, no, okay, no, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, so 2019, for instance, uh, a, a little manga called Spy Family won first place, a little yep. manga called Chainsaw Man won second place in the yeah. print manga, yeah. you have Shikimori, Call of the Night, like these were all the most talked about anime of, you know, uh, uh, several years after the manga came out or they were awarded the next manga award. So suffice it to say, these next manga award uh, winners and nominees have had a pretty good track record of actually ending up becoming the most popular titles yeah. within, you know, the several years after they get uh, awarded. So suffice it to say, if you are looking forward to the potential next big anime or even just the next potential big manga then you might, you're going to want to stick around for this one because there are a lot of manga that Gun and I have both read that uh, we can already see is probably has very good potential of becoming that next big hit. Yeah, we've read through pretty much every, every winner. Every and winner. we're going to be discussing uh, the winners. Uh, there were a lot of titles this year. As yeah. Joey mentioned, we have a lot more <laughs> titles to go through. Last year, we only had... 10 plus a few extra awards. This year yeah. we had 20. Yeah, so the next manga awards, people were like, hey, you guys enjoyed reading all those manga so much. Let's double your workload. We're gonna give you, <laughs> we're gonna give you the top 10 of yeah. each category now. So yeah, yeah so unfortunately, uh, got, you know, we didn't really have enough time for both of us to be able to read everything, but we have kind of covered for each other's tracks and, yeah. you know, at least one of us will be able to talk about it in depth, so. Yeah. By yeah. the way, Nabi, just checking, is chat on screen as well? On the, it's, it's, it's not on screen? Okay. Chat is not on screen. Uh, yeah, fix would you be able to fix that quickly while we talk about it? Yeah. yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring chat yeah, up. Yeah, 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 you, you can bring chat well, up. So, so uh, while Nabi is fixing that, 
Um, there is another big manga winner that was not on the slides that has not been mentioned just to continue talking about past winners. Yep. Dandadan was a winner as well. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. Dandadan was a winner. And uh, my that, recent favorite manga. Yeah, that has an that has an anime that is coming out. <sighs> so excited! It is coming out uh, this year, next yeah. next uh, next fall actually. Next fall. I got to I got to watch the premiere of that at Anime Expo, and it was fucking insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so good. And another winner as well is a manga, uh, an anime. I believe that uh, you announced at Anime Expo this year. Uh, uh, which one was that? <laughs> Gachia Kuta, oh, Gachakta. Oh, yeah, Gachakta. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah, Gachakta yeah, yeah. won it as well. Yes, yeah. another amazing manga series. I'm fully caught up to that one. So goddamn good. Just oozing with style. So, yeah. yeah. What's up? Are we good? Need the link for my chat. Don't worry, chat. We're, we're, we're fixing it. We're okay. fixing it. Okay. Yeah, Gachakta, guys, and Dan to Dan. Absolute fucking peak. So, like, amazing style. Just yeah. oozing with style. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to f talk to you guys as we're okay. trying to fix this. Hello, everyone. Yeah. So, uh, how many of like uh, how many of these manga for like the previous winners have you actually like kept up with, Joe? Um. Well, obviously, Spy Fam. Oh, Chainsaw Man. I'm fully caught up to right now. Spy Family. I think I read up to volume eight, if I remember correctly. Uh, Oshinoko, I am, I believe, one volume behind on that. And what was the other one? Oh, oh, and Free Ran. Free Ran, I am also one or two volumes behind. So I've been I've been trying to keep up, obviously. Oh, and Dandadan Dan and Gachakta, I am fully caught up. So I'm very excited for those. But honestly, man, like these, some, some of these like manga that we read for this time around, bro, Actual fire. Like, some of these are actual fire. Joey didn't even see the free run anime? Yes, I did. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> why would they call you out like that, Joey? Yeah, why are you calling me out like that? Wait, real question. It's so weird. People are like, oh, Joey didn't even watch this anime when I've very clearly talked about it on Trash Taste. So it's like, fake fan, first of all. <laughs> Nice fit, Joey. Thank you. I didn't state it. It was a question. Well, I didn't see a question mark. Joey did not watch Chainsaw Man because it's mainstream. Dog. Of course which, I watched. Which one of these manga have you actually watched the, uh... the anime for? The anime for yeah. I watched Spy Family. I watched Chainsaw Man. I Pretty much most of these I've watched. Actually, Call of the Night, I watched the first three episodes, I believe. Um, All of the night was vibes. Yeah, it was vibes, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be manga lad for a quick second here. The manga yeah, yeah, was okay. better. <laughs> oh, Joey, the no, you did not just say yeah, that. I'm sorry. Wait, I, wait, wait, wait. But like the I, the anime was like so chill though. It was actually vibes. I actually it, thought no, the it was vibes. It was vibes. But I think that vibe, I think that chill vibe works better in a manga format. Personally. Bro, with Creepy Nuts as well doing like the opening and end, or was it the ending? I think it was the ending. The ending, yeah. I, it kind of felt like the adaptation felt like, uh, kind of like a very Monogatari-esque. Yeah. I feel like. I'd, I'd say, yeah, visually speaking, definitely it was, uh, it was it, it definitely took a lot of homage uh, from uh, a lot of Shaft works, especially like Araki yeah. works, but Araki Shimbo works, but. Akiki Shimbo, yeah, Akiki that's Shimbo. that's the one. Excuse me. That's the one. I always get his right. name mixed up. Nabi, tell me, tell us when you're all ready to go. Um, and we are about to present the first winner yes, sir. of the night, guys. We have, so we're gonna start off with, obviously there are a number of categories. We're yeah. gonna start off with the web manga category. Yeah. So to explain, uh, there are two main categories and mm -hmm. some extra awards to spice things up at the end. Yep. Uh, the first one is the web category, where, as it as you probably have guessed, uh, that kind of means that the manga got uh, published on the web. Yep. 
Right. Because there's a lot of uh, websites now where it's not just like physical prints anymore like, with like magazines and stuff like that. There are a lot of like apps out there. There are a lot of websites out there that where a lot of very specific manga are made just for those services. So I guess now we're living in an age where there's enough web manga out there that they just have their own category. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And that doesn't necessarily mean they don't have physical volumes. Mm. It just means they start their publication on the web. Yes. And uh, that's how... The, that's their origin. And yep. of course, prints, which uh, everyone should be aware of, which is just your normal comic book style, yep. you know. In, in, you know, magazines and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, original, on print, uh, not on the web. Yeah, yeah. And uh, did have you heard of any of these winners prior to this? Um... I've with, heard without, of, without spoiling, yeah, without, without spoiling, spoiling we, we have like most of the physical volumes here. Yeah. Uh, at least the ones that have physical volumes. Um, I had heard of one or two of them. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I'm glad I actually finally got to, well, actually one of the, one of them, I actually have already read the first volume of before. Right. So I actually got to like read it again to refresh my mind because I read it when it first came out. Uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to that. But yep. most of these, at least for me, Never even heard of them, so I was excited to jump into them. Yep. Okay, how are we doing, Nabby? Have we fixed the technical issues? Let's find out. You will do the magic and chat will appear on screen. <gasps> <gasps> top In the right? top right. Wait, it's, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, chat. You're, you're hello. Right. You're right here. Hello. He's right, they're right here. Hello. Is it, is it there or there? It's, it's up here, it's, it's above my head. Okay, okay. Right here. Hello, hello chat. Hello, oh, I missed you guys. You know what? Hi, YouTube VOD viewers. I just wanted you to see the reaction, you know, <laughs> right? You know, it's just, you know, you know I, I, this, is, this is for you guys on YouTube. Uh, Twitch, Twitch chat, be, be, say, say hi to YouTube right now. Because uh, Twitch, you can, you can see what's on. You can see what you guys are chatting about. <laughs> anyway, are we ready yes, sir. to present the awards? Mm -hmm. So we are starting off with the web category yep. and at number 10 the winner of the web category is this is on your side joey it is, Wait, is it? yeah it is no 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 wait is it wait wait show it on All screen right. first. show it on screen now show it on screen first no, it's not. No, one. it's not. One. Oh <laughs> my <right>. god! <laughs> it is. Hotaru uh, no Yomiri. Yes. Uh, what does this translate to, Joey? Uh, but, fuck. <laughs> How do you say Yomiri in English? <laughs> Hot Hotaru's Firefly. Yes. Uh, the Firefly marriage. <laughs> Firefly marriage. How the fuck do you say Yomiri in in? in, in that's a word that only exists in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mas okay. is freaking out. He's like, Ma Ma Mas, <laughs> we, 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 have, we have our assistant on hand that's like, oh, oh translate. Fly, Fireflies translate. wedding, I think. Fireflies wedding. Something okay, like okay, that. okay. That, yeah. that, that makes sense. Um, that makes sense. This one, as I mentioned, we couldn't read every single one. This one, I actually didn't get the chance to read. Okay, Joey. But Joey. you did. Let me, uh, let, me, let, me give you the, let me give you the deets on this one. Go on. All right. So you have that main girl yep. right there. Unfortunately, since we all read this in like, the span of like the last two days. Yeah. I don't remember every single name sure. in every single uh, title that yeah. we read, but main uh, girl, just to, give the, main girl. to give you the lowdown, yeah. there's a girl, yeah. right? And this is, I believe set in like, you know, old Meiji kind of like Japan era. Sure. Uh, and uh, she, you know, she is a bit sickly, mm. but she comes from this like noble family and she's like, has so many marriage proposals, mm. uh, but she says no to all of them because uh, she has like a terminal illness. We don't okay. know, I don't know, quite know what it is. Right. One day she gets kidnapped, oh, right? Okay. She gets kidnapped and uh, we don't know why she got kidnapped, but she is basically about to be executed. And who okay. walks in as the person who's going to execute her? That lovely gentleman right Shoot. there. Woo! That's a big sheep I've ever seen. Yes, God, yes, damn. yes, yes. Uh, and he is given certain instructions. He, the, he is told she is to be killed at a certain time. But before then, uh. no one is to touch her. No one is to do anything to her. Okay. And uh, you just you just need to wait to this certain time before you kill her. And okay. you can't and you can't obviously like uh, do anything either. Sure. Right? Sure. And so what happens? Uh, I mean, uh, what do you think happens? A bunch of guys, uh, the prisoners are just like 
Oh, it's time, baby. It's time. I need to give me some of that. Yeah, I need to give me some of that. And he's like, uh, actually, no, my instructions were to uh, say, uh, were to have no one touch this girl until yeah. I am told to kill this woman. Okay. So he starts like chopping off limbs and stuff like God that. Damn. All right. And so this girl in a, in a feat of desperation is like, hmm, hmm. <sighs> I can do something about this. Okay. I can do something about this. So, uh, <laughs> he he asks her, uh, she she asks him, yeah. "Is there anything I, I can do to save my life?" And he says, "Only money talks. If you can pay more money uh. to me than my hire, I'll let you live." Okay. And she's like, "I don't have money on me, but I do come from a noble family. So how about we get married?" <laughs> and that's the, that is. <laughs> Wow. Okay. That is her solution. And that starts off the adventures of the biggest I can fix him manga that I've read this year. Because what happens in chapter two yeah. is obviously he doesn't believe her. He's yeah. like, I don't believe you're taking this marriage seriously. Sure. But also, yes, I do want to get married actually because no one wants to marry a hitman. I don't know why, but no one wants to marry okay. a hitman. And so he's like, all right. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna rescue you. So he takes her out, right? There's yeah. this scene where he takes her out, and he's like, "Give me a kiss. Give give give, give me a little smooch. Give me a little, go go just 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 a small little smooch. Come on, you can do it." And yeah. she's like, "Uh, I don't I don't do uh no no kiss before marriage. Actually, I yeah. want to protect my chastity. Yeah, yeah. I want to protect my chastity." Sure. And and he's like he's like, "Oh, you fucking lie. You're fucking lie. All right, I'll just leave you now. How about I just leave you? I'll just leave you here to die." And she's like, "Shit." Oh, this is kind of gaslighting yeah, me. It's, oh, it's so gaslighting. oh, this is uh, this this doesn't feel good. Yeah. So a bunch of other guys who are chasing them come out, yeah. and he fucking starts slicing them up. Sure. Right, he is in like a pool of blood. His 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 face is like full of blood. Right, yeah. and he's like, I knew it. You never wanted to marry me ever. You lied to me. No one would want to marry me looking like this. Yeah. And what happens? She wipes the blood and gives him a smooch. God and damn! <laughs> God, I can only get so hard yeah. from a synopsis. Oh my yeah. God. And eventually, you know, it turns into, ooh, yonder a boy, a oh. little bit crazy, but you know what? Maybe this marriage might work. Maybe I can make this marriage work. Who knows? Who knows? Ooh, he's a little bit mysterious, a little yeah. bit charming. I will, you know what? I am... I don't know if this is a controversial take, but I am going to say it. I think Yandere boys are so much hotter than Yandere girls. I, 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 I actually agree. Bro, dead ass. <laughs> like, so, Honestly? Some yandere, like when you do a Yandere boy, a like, yeah. male character well in the correct setting where it makes sense that he's a Yandere yeah. and you put him in situations that really shows like, or I guess like tries to dig deep into like the the very small amount of wholesomeness that they might have left in their like deep pitiful heart. Yeah, that's the moments where you're just like, I can fix him. Yeah, <laughs> um, I will say this right now. I will make a declaration. This just won the tenth place in the web category. Yeah, please nobody do not show this to my wife. Because I, I, I already know that she will eat this up. Yeah, <laughs> she like I don't know why she just loves a crazy yandere man. I don't just, blame her to be honest with you, man. I don't blame. Her. I just realize I'm just like, wait a minute. Also, the are we allowed to show panels if it's like in? Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, the main character is a little bit is is a a blonde anime girl who looks like that oh, yeah, as well. Wow. And I'm like, oh, oh, Sydney, uh, Sydney's gonna eat this up. Yeah, uh, and I, I, I'm scared for her to discover this manga. She's, she's literally gonna do the. She's just like me for real. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I I actually enjoy this a lot. Uh, that, that sounds hype. That that honestly, I wish I'd read this one. I know the exact appeal to this manga yeah. because I eat this kind of manga up uh, when it's like you know it's of when it's like on the opposite side of the mm. perspective a lot of the times. Uh, but uh, this was this was a spicy manga. Yeah. And it only continued to get more spicy. I'm not gonna spoil one big plot point that gets revealed in like chapter four. Mm. Uh, but there's this big revelation that happened that I was just like, hey, yo, what? Hey, yo, what? <laughs> what? What 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 is the grand plan here? What is the yeah, grand plan? Right. Where is this relationship going to? But I was very curious to see 
how their relationship I do also develops. like the fact that they decided to make it in like a historical setting as well. Cause I feel yeah. a, a plot like this would just not quite work in like a modern setting. You know? Yeah. There's something about the fact that it's a historical setting that adds that like extra, extra little spice on top of it. You know? <laughs> that extra little spice. Extra little spice. <laughs> yeah. So, Hell yeah. Um, that is Hotaru no Yomeri. Yep. Uh, is it Yome? Yome, Yome Iri. Yome Iri, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Check it out. Hell yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know how readily available this is right now. Uh, but definitely check this out if you want yourself a spicy romance uh, to dig your teeth into. Oh, we know. Especially, especially the girls who like crazy boys. Yeah. Like I said. Well, the boys who like crazy boys. Boys like crazy boys. We know boys. you're out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, if you think you can fix him, this <laughs> is it. This is your manga. This is your manga. Hell yes. You can't fix him. He's a hit man. He's already killed before. Yeah. Okay. All right. Though. Shall we get why into- why don't we, put the, why don't we put the ones we finished on the table? Okay. Let's, let's, so we, let's we put the spread one. them out. Yeah. Let's put there the we ones go. we finished on the table. All right. Let's move on to the web manga category ninth place. And the yes. winner of the ninth place of the web manga category goes to- oh. Isho Senkin. Star, Star Strike It Rich. Oh, dude, this manga is sick. Oh, as fuck. oh okay. this was. <laughs> so, first of all, don't let the title and the cover fool you because yeah. it most certainly did when. So, when I received all these manga and I, I did a quick glance at everything, right? This cover came up and I was like, okay, you know what? This might be like a thing where it's like, oh, there's like a cute idolish kind of girl who maybe is like, you know what? I'm sick of the idol life. I'm going to be, I don't know, a boxer and like try and prove myself, you know, in kind of a wholesome way. But then I read the author's name, uh, who is Sandoro Bichi Yabako. And uh, immediately I was like, oh, it's it's not going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> so to give a little bit of context, Sandoro Bichi Yabako is actually quite a, a seasoned manga author. Uh, they have worked on such manga as Kengan Ashura, if you guys ever heard that, as well as the sequel Kengan Omega. And most recently they made the... Um, I don't know what the English title is. Is the dumbbell dumbbell nan kiro motoru the dumbbell yeah, manga? Uh, do you lift your dumbbells? Do you lift your dumbbells? That's or something how, like that. Yeah, which you know all yeah. of them have. Which you can recognize in this art style. Yeah. Uh, I have two words to describe this manga: waifu baki. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like me, dead ass in my in my notes for this. <laughs> I think the first thing I wrote down was let me see let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, the first thing I wrote down was baki but with hot chicks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is exactly it. Uh, every single female in this manga is fucking crazy. Yeah. And, yeah. And Whether you, they're a girl, a woman, no matter what age, they are fucking crazy. I don't, I don't think I've seen a single, at least in like the main cast of characters and the main villains, I guess villains, yeah. quote unquote, there isn't a single male character. Like every single person, like all the fighters in this manga. I think are you're right, actually. Female. I just realized this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's literally if you took Baki but replaced every single character with a female. Yeah. So uh do you, do you wanna do you wanna explain like the story of this? Yeah, sure. So uh so this manga is based on in modern times where there is you know, very much like Baki and a lot and, and Kengan Ashura, there is kind of an underground society for fighting. Uh, and for, uh, you know, like mixed martial arts and stuff like that. Uh, and th we have this uh, character here, not not the character on screen here, but the there's a character that essentially is a former boxer or a former underground uh, participant of, of the underground fighting scene who one day is just like, gets let off. And she's like, well, shit, I can't make money off fighting anymore. What am I going to do? And she has two best friends, uh, one who is like a dirty cop, and another one who is the daughter of a Yakuza. Yeah. And the three of them are kind of in, down in the dumps. They're like, well, shit, we're, we're out of a job. We can't make money, but we don't have the credentials to do anything because of our backgrounds and stuff like that. And then one day they see a street fight happening between two elderly women. Uh, and it's like getting pretty intense. And so they think, okay, well then what if we say fuck the system and we just start our own underground mixed martial arts tournament space. 
So they were like, okay, let's let's gather some people off the streets, these these women, and and also all the participants are women. So they're like, let's let's grab a bunch of women who love fighting, street fighting, mixed martial arts, whatever it is, and just put them in a ring and see what happens. Yep. So they start to do that, but then they go, yeah, but you know, we got to use like the power of eroticism. <laughs> with these women. Otherwise it's no different to the men. Like people are not gonna be interested in it, but we need like a cutie, cutesy kind of girl who is also banging, banger at fighting. Yeah. And then one of the girls goes, I know someone, she's fucking insane. And they go to this like princess high school, this like really prestigious high school. And they're like, that's the girl. And yeah. it's the girl on the cover here. It is the girl on the cover. And they go like, nah, her? That's she looks like a like like a princess. She can't be a fighter, that's right? A, that's an idol. That's, yeah, a, that's this an is an idol, idol manga. That's this an is an idol, idol manga. Whatever. Like she yeah. can't fight. Yeah. So they were like, all right, let's test it out. So one of the girls is like, starts to put up a fight with her. Immediately realizes she's an absolute monster. Yeah. So she's been trained by this like underground like cult, cult or something yeah. that trained her in all sorts of like martial arts yeah. and stuff like that. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, so she, it, it, it makes no sense. So she's classified as like a human weapon. Yeah, she's classified as a human weapon, but she also looks like she walked out of an yeah. idol show or imagine, something like that. Imagine Hama yeah. Yujiro if he was an idol. If he was an <laughs> idol. That is basically the energy that we are talking about. So they kidnap her. Yeah. Uh, they kidnap her and they're like, yo, what do we do with her? And she's like, what do you want from me? Do you want me to fight? Just find me a strong, I, I want one thing. Find me a strong opponent. Yep. That's all I want. Yeah. And her, yeah, literally, this is her first life. Uh, what her concerts is just trying to find the strongest opponents, but unfortunately, she just keeps one shotting every opponent yep. she goes through. And uh, the biggest thing I will say is, don't let this aesthetic fool you. I'm going to show you a page right now. If you just want some fucking, I love these two characters. If you want just like the aesthetic of just some like big muscly girl. If you love your getting, muscle mummies, yeah. boys, this is the manga for you. Getting decked out by like the smallest high school girl yeah. you could ever, you could ever like, you could ever think of. Yeah, it's, then, it's uh, like actually insane. Yeah, yeah. Then, so, so the 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 plot. There's a there's a point around chapter two or three, I guess, where the plot really starts to kick in, right? Where like she's thrown in a couple of matches, but because she's an absolute human weapon, there is yeah. no way that she can lose. She basically one shots every opponent, and so she <laughs> like without without the consent of the people who organize the event, she just straight up goes, "I have five hundred thousand dollars right here." to anyone who can beat me in a fight. And that basically causes every single female in any kind of mixed martial arts to be like, yo, there's $500,000 on the line, dog. And all I have to do is beat up this like cutesy idol girl. I'm in. And basically yeah. the 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 first chapter ends where, yeah, it's we're not going to be able to. I mean, uh, you guys okay. can look it up in your own. Yeah, time, yeah, but, okay, look it up. Yeah. yeah, but essentially the the first chapter kind of ends where like they're doing this kind of tournament arc style like fighting match with, uh you know, the massive muscle mummy that you guys hopefully just saw there. But it is like insane. It, it is so crazy. Um, And I got completely fooled by this title and cover. Yep. So uh, shout out to Star Strike It Rich. Highly recommend this one. Yep. Uh, Sydney's already made a video on this one. If you want to give oh, that really? one a watch as well. Yeah, I, d I didn't realize this, but I've recognized the face. I was like, wait, I remember Sydney uh, talking Hell about yeah. this manga to me yeah. one banger. night. Banger. Actually yeah. a banger manga. Absolute banger. All right, let's move on then, shall we? Yes. To, to the eighth place. Eighth place winner in the web manga category. It is... Bep. Oh, it's that one. Okay. So some of these we were we didn't have available yeah. on hand. So this is I love Dokagui Mochizuki san, uh, which as the title suggests, uh, for the category, because this is a web manga, this manga actually doesn't have a physical volume that we can show you guys. Uh, so unfortunately, neither of us kind of had the time to read this one, even yeah. though I really wanted to. This cover looks fucking cute. Yeah, so some of these were only available on like Twitter and stuff. Oh, I uh, see. Which is like how far it yeah. goes. Twitter, Twitter manga, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, unfortunately we have not read this one because yep. it wasn't you know, it wasn't sent to us. Mm. Uh, but to give the synopsis, this manga sure. was X, formerly Twitter, mm. uh, and Japan's number one trending topic. Oh. Uh, so it's the number one trending manga on Japanese Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. the main girl, she's a 21 year old woman yep. uh, who is a calm and gentle girl, 
but her happiness is dokagui, which I don't know what that means. Dokagui Joe. means like stupid eating. Yeah. Okay. So she indulges in heavy binge, in t- uh, yeah. binge eating. Binge eating is what it says here. Yeah. An overdose of calories and a forbidden gourmet record. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So okay. it kind of sounds like a mukbang. wholesome <laughs> mukbang manga. <laughs> it's a mukbang manga. Yeah. I-, I dig that. I dig yeah. that. I mean, you know, like I, I actually fully get why. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so she, so she's Chris Broad kicked W. Nick the- Carter Avocado the mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, like hearing that synopsis and seeing this aesthetic, I totally understand why this got big on Japanese Twitter because yeah. for a while now, and this has happened for years and years and years, manga about when it comes to like food, and manga artists who know how to draw and portray food in really appealing ways mm-hmm. have always just had like a soft spot yeah. with the Japanese audience. Like there's a, I don't know if you've heard of a manga called Oishinbo. I think I have. But yeah, uh... it's it's a long, long standing manga from like the seventies. And it's, I think it's still going. It's like 140 volumes or something. Right. That manga is literally just all about a dude who learns how to cook. Right, And the reason why it got so popular is because one, the author is really good at drawing food. Right. And two, the manga actually teaches you the recipes. Oh, that's cool. So th- this kind of tradition of like manga artists being able to draw food in really appealing ways just hits the Japanese audience. Yeah. And I feel like just hearing the synopsis, this is definitely one of those. And with how big mukbang content has gotten recently yeah, as well, or exactly. not even recently, uh, it was only a matter of time before someone made a manga with that same totally. energy to it. And with a, with a cute, wholesome looking girl there as well as the yeah. main character. Yeah. Like, yeah, of course this was going to go. Exactly. Away. Yeah. You know, sometimes the best eaters are just like a thin Asian girl yeah. <laughs> who can somehow eat like more than 10 men combined. Oh, I don't yeah. understand it either. Oh, yeah. I've done yeah. a video with one of them and it was fucking insane. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Yeah. So that was number eight. Hell Congratulations yeah. to our eighth place winner. All right, let's yeah, move sorry on. Sorry we couldn't talk about that one for too long. Yeah. Uh, There's going to be a couple more of those, uh, but yeah, definitely yeah. make sure to give them a watch. Yeah. Or read rather. So number seventh, seventh place. Seventh place goes so to- announce the seventh place winner because that goes to- <laughs> oh, <laughs> Centuria. Woo. Woo. Yo. Fucking fire. Banger. <laughs> banger. Actual banger. Actual, actual banger. Oh my God. Holy this crap. Is this so good. goes so hard. This the, goes incredibly hard. The best way I can explain this manga in simple terms that anyone can understand, take Berserk and combine it with Vinland Saga. <laughs> and this is the one you get. It's, it is definitely has like both of those energies yeah. together, especially in like chapter one. Yeah. Uh, where you have, you know, uh, you start off with, you, you know, you start off with this guy being on a slave ship mm-hmm. to give you like the lowdown of everything. And then uh, it turns out that he has never felt kindness in his life mm. because no one's ever been kind to him. Yep. His mother sold him as a slave when he was like a little boy. So when someone on the slave ship actually shows him kindness mm. and, you know, uh, and actually helps him out, he's like super surprised. He doesn't know how to like process it. Mm. Um and then afterwards, it turns out that uh, all the slaves on the ships was going to be eliminated. Yep. It, yeah, they were, it was like going to be executed. Killed, yeah. It was basically a medieval kind of like insurance scam that they basically, that the ship basically was. Mm. Um, so they kill every person except for this main character mm. and the pregnant woman that yep. first showed him kindness. Mm-hmm. And- <laughs> And then this is where it starts to get wild. And then it gets a little weird. <laughs> and then it gets a little weird. So right? then they're on this ship. We have the main character and the pregnant woman. And they're like, well, shit, I guess we're about to die. And then right as the, I guess, pirates, slave owners, the slave owners go yeah. to you know kill them. They're like, wait, we can't move. What's happening? And then all of a sudden from out of the ocean, this giant tentacle monster appears. No, it's not that kind of not tentacle kind monster, of ten- guys. Not that kind of tentacle monster. Not that kind of tentacle monster. Get your monster. mind out of the fucking gutter, We're boys. talking about Kraken, you know, yeah, Kraken. Like, like a, like, like, yeah, like, like an HP Lovecraftian, like, yeah. you know, horrendous, like, sea creature comes yeah. out and basically says, I'm going to give you guys 
the power, uh, uh, such unbelievable power to get through this and the hardships, but only one of you can survive. Yeah. Who is it going to be? And the main character is like, well, obviously I want the pregnant woman who showed me love to survive because yeah. I want the, the, the this kind woman and the baby to survive. And then unfortunately, a couple of things happen. I'm not going to go into too much details about it, obviously, but the main character manages to gain this ability of basically the power. Uh, this is so bad when I say it out loud. The power of a hundred slaves. That's what it is. You can't wait, wait. You that's can't, how they say it in the manga. You can't just say the power is the power. The, he has the power of slavery, but Joey. That's what, that's, okay, maybe it was translated differently yeah. in English, but when I read it in manga, that's literally how okay. it's read. Okay, to explain, to explain his power, he has the combined power of the 100 humans that got slaughtered on that ship. Yeah, that's a better way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but they were also slaves. But they were, they, that also happened to be slaves, okay? That yeah. also happened to be slaves. I'm not wrong. Um, and so he not only has the combined strength and the combined powers of those 100 people that got murdered on that ship, he also has 100 lives as well. Yeah. Uh, to echo the hundred lives mm-hmm. of the people that got quit, that got killed, mm-hmm. um, and the most fucking the the part that sold me yeah. right was the scene where the woman basically said, "You know, I'll be the one to die." Yeah, because she like she she gives oh. over her life in the most metal way possible. It's so metal. so she so she's walking to the guy. Uh, she sees the guys <sighs> the the main character walking towards the monster, being like, "I'll be the sacrifice," and she's like. No, I can't see this again. Takes a knife, fucking rips a baby out of her stomach and uh, like rips the baby out of her stomach, gives it to the boy and and was like, raise this baby in my place, yeah. please. And I'm like, holy shit. It's so metal. Oh my God. All right. All right. I'm sold. I'm sold. (laughs) So after he gets uh, out of that, you know, now it's basically his mission to not only, you know, seek freedom, obviously, you know, being uh, someone who basically lived in slavery all of his life. But now he has this new mission to take care of this baby and raise it as one of his own. Yeah. Especially after seeing the sacrifice. And it's this, you know, afterwards, it's this beautiful tale of beautiful yet gruesome tale of revenge, of like overcoming everything and also finding love uh, in another human being, you yep. know, even after all despair has fallen upon him. And, you know, I've, I've seen a couple of people in the chat saying it's like, oh, but how can you compare it to Berserk and Vinland Saga? It's a shonen manga. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I just def- because you see jump comics there, don't let that into fooling you into thinking it's just like a regular shonen manga. Because the first chapter of this goes hard. Yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> it goes fucking hard. This is metal as fuck. And if that's not, there's not enough of a reason for you to uh, keep reading. Uh, read up to chapter three. I definitely mm. can't show this panel uh, on uh, this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I will say okay. There is a character that gets added yeah. in chapter three. Yeah. And how they are introduced is you see this uh, massive person just yeah. decked out in armor. Yeah. And it looks fucking sick. Yeah. And then all I will say is, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> God. I, I, I audibly pogged when I saw this. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I, was, I was reading this. In, I was reading it in the office and I was like, oh, guys, guys, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> you see this. this. <laughs> you gotta see this. You gotta see this right now, right now. Oh my God. But yeah, this yeah. one, bro, like I, I'm gonna say this one is up there for m- one of my favorites that I've read in this collection. Yeah, like, same I, I definitely want to keep up with this one because just the way that it set itself up just within this first volume has so much room for growth. But if this author manages to pull it off, man, this is going to be a huge one. Yeah, this was an amazing beginning, yeah. uh, first few chapters. If you want a new dark fantasy, check it out. Hell Centuria. yeah. Centuria. All right. Let's move on to the number six place all right in the sixth place in the web manga category goes to boo oh okay this one oh did the screen glitch out nubby screen glitch oh there we go screen glitched out the reason the reason why she loves a jerk (laughs) 
<laughs> so this is also another web one that uh, wasn't available in uh, yes. print form. So I will I have love the to, title already. Though. Yeah, I will have to read out the synopsis for you. Please. A smoker with no money, no <laughs> job, and no prospects. Okay. Uh, that's Michan's. That's Michan's beloved loser boyfriend, Hirokun. Okay. I'm, I'm already interested. Yeah, I love it already. <laughs> Lucky for him, Michan's expectations are at rock bottom. <laughs> Can Hirokun clear her lover's lower? Uh, l- uh, sorry. Can Hirokun clear her lower than bar? <laughs> Wait, lower than low bar. What the fuck? Okay. Can Hirokun clear her lower than low bar and prove that he isn't the biggest jerk? A comedy spin on a problematic relationship. I'm interested. This is literally, I can fix him. The I, yeah, <laughs> this is literally, I can fix him and I will fix him. <laughs> I just noticed, Garth's just into the, I can fix him slash her manga. Jo- jo- Joey, don't, 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 don't like, call me out like that, every man. Every single one is just like, every <laughs> single one at least that like Garth has like talked to, to me about in the past like couple of years is just like, you good, bro? Like you good? You good? You want to fix Honestly, I I saw I saw the uh I saw I cuz we couldn't read this and I was like looking for this for ages yeah. being like where where is it in the pile? Where is it in the pile? I can't see it, but um uh unfortunately we couldn't find it and I was a bit disappointed cuz mm. I was looking at the title and I was like damn, I would love this manga, <laughs> yeah. I think. I, I, I would love this manga. Yeah, I was actually kind of looking forward to reading this one, but uh, you know, we're gonna have to check it out in our own time. You guys can check it out in your own time too, if that synopsis sounds appealing. I'm sure being Giga audience, uh, there's gonna be a number of you who will be into this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. All right, shall we move on to number five? Yes. But before we move on, Nabi, uh, the, the screen, okay. Oh, there no. we go, it's Okay, there now. we go. All right, we good, we good. All right. Let's enter the top five in the web manga category. First and foremost, number five in fifth place, we have. Oh. Bam! Sachi's Records or Sachi's Book of Revelations. Sachi-dok. So, this one as well, I didn't have time to read, but yeah. this art style is uh unique yeah this uh if this is weird this was a this was a unique manga okay uh because it is a you can probably tell from the art style that is definitely a uh gag manga yeah 100 percent um so the entire premise of this manga is it starts off a little bit like records of ragnarok okay where the gods and the angels and the demons are all in like a big circle being mm. like yo humanity's time has come it's, okay. it's it's time it's it's time to eliminate humans. Do you guys not think so? And the angels are like, no, humans are good. Trust, yeah. bro. Trust, trust me, bro. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, and then God's like, all right, we got to do something to decide whether humans are worth keeping around sure. or not. Sure. Sure. Uh, so what basically happens is instead of having one big tournament arc like mm. they do in uh, Records of Ragnarok, uh, it all comes down to one single child. This child, right? Oh, so this is a normal child. This is a normal child, Okay. right? This is a normal child. Okay. And what happens is you can see the person on the, le- on the right is an angel and the person on the left is a demon. Yeah. And so they get sent down from, you know, whatever dimension they're inhabiting. Sure. And they're like, all right, child, you are the last hope for humanity and we will be judging your every action uh, to see whether humans are a good are good creatures or whether humans uh, should be eliminated and are bad for the world. And that's basically uh, that's basically what the premise of this is about. Right. It's about this kid but, going but because he's because they're a child, they just yeah. like do and say dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They're, okay. Because they're a child, they're just they're just doing random things right, right. and uh, just going through you know going through daily life. Uh, this was you know th- there were some moments that did actually make me laugh in this yeah. one. Like the the weird thing about this right is. <laughs> There's there's this one scene that I'm like, all right, all right, this this actually this actually might be popping off a bit. Uh, there's this one scene where, of course, the child has to go to school, right? Yeah. So you think with angels and demons, maybe you know only the child can see them. No, yeah. no, they they are literally an angel and a demon in the real world. Okay, that everyone can see. Sure, right? Um, and so the child goes to school, and of course, in the most anime manga thing you can think of, the angel and demons are like, shit, should we uh, should we enroll? Should we enroll in school? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry. 
<laughs> so they go. To, they, so as the child's going to school, as the kids going to school, they 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 turn up and are like, "Yo, we want to enroll in this school." Uh-huh. And then the principal's like. I can't do that. Firstly, what the fuck? Are you an angel and a demon? Yeah. What? What is going on? Secondly, no, yeah. because that is not in the code of conduct. We cannot enroll angels and demons in the code of conduct right. based on these rules. Yeah. And um, and the de- and the angel goes, you don't understand. God sent us. God sent us. Uh, and he's like, I don't believe you. So what happens? God literally comes down from heaven and is like, I have appeared. By the way, I have sent them on a holy journey. And the principal is like, oh my God, (laughs) it is God. (laughs) What? It is God. And he's like, as God, I command you, enroll these two in your school. And then he goes, even if God says, I cannot go against the code of conduct. <laughs> we have rules in the school and I cannot go against the rules. I, I am sorry, God. And, and I'm like, oh, this is the most Japanese it's thing. So this Japanese this is the it. most Japanese joke I've ever oh, heard in my life. So funny. Even if God comes down from the heaven, <laughs> heavens and tells you to do something, you're like, I, I no. gotta say, man, like, you know, growing up reading these kinds of like, abs- like the way I like to describe these kinds of manga is like absurdist comedy, mm-hmm. where it's like, it's not just like comedy. It's like, it's, it's the type of manga that's funny because it's just so fucking wacky and yeah. absurd. Yeah. I always thought these kinds of like absurdist comedy manga couldn't really be translated into another language, especially yeah. to like English. But hearing it from you, I'm, I'm glad it kind of like translates over because what you described to me, even though I haven't read this manga, what you described to me is the most Japanese joke I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, that is a very <laughs> Japanese joke. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I only read a few chapters of this. Yeah. Uh, it's like, it's weird because the kid is drawn like that in a very like, you know, very Cartoon-y say, way. cartoonish way. Yeah. But the angel, the angel and devil, they actually are drawn in like normal, like manga art style. Oh, right, right. So right. you can, there is like, they, they use the difference in like art style for each character to like, part of his comedy So they kind of well. use like the Dr. Slump method. Yeah, yeah, basically, sense, yeah. basically, right, yeah. Right. So congratulations to Sachi's record Hell for yeah. the fifth place right on. in the web manga category. I gotta give that a read. Yeah. I, I love my absurdist comedy manga, man. Like yeah. Bobobo was like one of my favorite comedy manga growing up, bro. <laughs> and that is the most wackiest shit ever, but it's so funny. This definitely fall, feels like it falls under that category. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Let's move on, Let's to, move on to the fourth place. Number four. At number four in the web manga category goes to... Oh. Boo. Hope, Hope you're happy, Lemon. So on the Nisachiare. Wow, the English title for it is so different. It is. I I, I saw the Japanese title yeah. and I was like, that's not what the English title says. Yeah. That's not- <laughs> so the English title is Hope You're Happy, Lemon. The Japanese title is uh, <laughs> Happiness to the Shit Woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Another one coming out of Jump Comics Plus. I must yeah. say, man, Jump Plus. Been fucking killing it recently. I, f- I fucking love this manga. Uh, all dude, right, all I right. love this. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not. E- I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm not. I'm not gonna even tell you the storyline of this. I'm yeah. just gonna say. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna <laughs> describe my experience. I open. I open the first page. Right? Yeah. I open the first page, and it literally opens. Uh, <laughs> literally opens with a guy getting dumped. Yeah. Because um, I was like, oh, this this is a strong way to open a manga, and the, it's a girl dumping a guy. And uh, she says, I haven't cheated on you with one person. I've cheated on you with three people. <laughs> and I wrote that and I was like- That's literally the first page. I was like, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. That dead ass, <laughs> I was reading this at home and I was like, oh, God's gonna love this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, fuck me, man. Get, get props to the the author. He knows they know. Excuse me, how to make a fucking good hook for yeah. a manga like this. Yeah. Like that was the best way to. Open From it. page one, From I was just like, one. wait, not one person, three people. All right, all right, all right. Lock it, lock in time. Yeah. Uh, so, so basically, you describe uh, the actual premise of this manga because yep. it's actually pretty weird. Mm. Um, it's basically, I, I think you said it was like a combination of your name and golden time. Yes, that's right? how I described it. 
Yeah. So it is a basic love triangle where the main protagonist who got dumped by the, this girl called Lemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, her name is Lemon. Yeah. Uh, he basically weird, got- Weird Japanese name as well, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got dumped by her and then he grew up. But you know, sometimes you just have that one girl that you can't just- can Lives never in get. your hand, head rent free. Yeah, 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 re- yeah. Lemon is paying zero rent because he's still in the main <laughs> character's head rent free yeah. right now, which is uh, very good in this economy. Um, but what happens is he basically, you know, he has a crush mm. and- his crush is his coworker, and he's been crushing on her for a while. Mm. But uh, his coworker says, "I am not interested in any man who has baggage." And he's like, yeah. "Fuck! My ex cheated on me with three people, and I still am not over her. Maybe I can hide this. Maybe I can hide yeah. this fact." So he's like, "All right, I'm going to set up a date." And he is success- is successful. He gets yeah. he sets up a date with his crush. What happens? He goes to sleep, and he wakes up, and he wakes up. In the body of his ex. Wakes up in the body of Lemon, and Lemon wakes up in the body of the protagonist. So yes. literally a your name moment. Yes, literally a your name moment. He's yeah. like, I can't get this girl out of my head. Wait, let me fight these thoughts. These thoughts become real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these thoughts actually manifest, and then these thoughts are fucking hands, man. Yeah so, yeah, so they realize like, oh God, we've swapped bodies. So they meet up because it's an emergency. Uh, even though, you know, he's still carrying the baggage and it seems like, you know, in the MC's head, she's just like, you know, living rent free essentially. And they're like, well, shit, man, what are we going to do? Is is uh, is this like permanent? Do I have to like pretend to be you for the rest of your life? Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they're, 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 they're stressing and, you know, especially the main character is like, bro, I got to date with my crush next week, man. Like, I can't, I, I got to get back into my body somehow. We got to figure this out. So then what happens is that around, I I think it was like chapter two, maybe chapter three, quite early, uh, because I guess this is like the main point of the premise. Unlike in your name, they go to sleep, you know, again, while they're in each other's bodies and they wake up and they're back to normal. Mm -hmm. Like nothing has happened. And they're like, oh, maybe it was just, maybe I just dreamed that. Maybe it was just like a one day thing. That was kind of weird. Anyway, let's just keep going on with our daily lives. And let, you know what? The MC's like, fuck it. You know what? It was a bit awkward and weird that I was in my crush's, uh, you know, in my ex's body, but I'll, I'll forget about it. It was just a weird thing. But then they find out that they don't swap bodies every day. They swap bodies every other day. Yeah. Right? Well, well they, they swap and then they swap back and they swap and then they swap, swap back. Swap and then swap back. So every time they go back. to sleep, they swap bodies again. Yeah. So they're alternating which body they uh, have. Yeah. Uh, and just 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 if there wasn't enough spice for you, just just if there, there wasn't enough tea for you to drink with that synopsis, turns out uh, his crush is no other than Lemon's uh, roommate. Roommate. Yeah, that's right. His crush is no other than Lemon's roommate. <laughs> and also- also, they also have feelings for each other. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> so spicy. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I ate this shit up. I just like, this has, this has all of the makings uh, of just, you know, just like a hot mess. You have yeah. the love triangle, you have the body swapping, you have the roommates, you have the unresolved feelings they have towards each mm-hmm. other. And if that wasn't enough for me, uh, Lemon is literally just Marion Kitagawa 2.0 yeah. as well. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. She she reminded me so much of Marin Kitagawa. It's, it's Marin if she never got into cosplay. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, honestly, yeah. honestly. Uh, she has like, I loved her energy. Yeah. I loved her personality. Aside from the first, you know, the, the, the little, you know, the hook, the, the hook where yeah. she, you know, she's, she uh, cheated on three guys. Three guys, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you yeah. know. But you yeah, know. I, I, think, I think the thing that this manga did really, really well is that, you know, it, it gives you this like initial hook where you're like, oh, okay, this is about to be some like dirty love triangle shit. Yeah. But then- as you read on and you get to know more about the characters and their intentions behind, you know, their certain actions and the way they talk to characters, you start to see like the depth, like even just within this first chapter, I already got to know so much about all three of the characters and it's Mm -hmm. just making that whole dynamic so much more interesting. And like, I legitimately do want to actually keep reading this one. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to be reading this one. Yeah. I know Uh, you are. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So if you like your spicy love triangles mm. with a little bit like a, you know, like a twist, like a fantasy twist yep. to it, 
Uh, this is it. This 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 is so much fun. Yeah. Uh, I, and that's like the this, the type of manga this is. It's mm. just fun, and it's charming. And they're not in high school for once. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Like they're not like, in high school. Like Golden Time, they're oh in university. My, they're in university. I forgot that. So representation <laughs> finally. Yo. Finally. That was like the cherry on top for me. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. yo, finally, it's not in high school, dog. <laughs> yeah, I was so engrossed in the spice. I I actually forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but this yeah. one's a banger. Definitely yeah, give it absolute a banger. Yeah. Lemon Chan, best girl. All right. All right. She's fixed, guys. She's fixed. Yes, she's fixed. I swear, I swear to God. All right. Number three. All right. The bronze to present medal. Number three, the bronze medal is. Oh. Vichiba Kusama Shigemi. Okay. So this is the third and last manga that we unfortunately didn't get to read. Uh, but as the title suggests, it is a Vichuba manga. Yeah, this is also another Twitter manga. Yeah. Or I should say X, formerly Twitter, yeah. which is what it says here. Um, so Shigemi Kusamura is the top corporate VTuber with 1.3 million subscribers. Weak. Uh, <laughs> weak. Uh, <laughs> has less subs than trash taste. Weak. <laughs> Joey. Joey. My bad. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. She's a very successful VTuber, guys, uh, is yeah. what I'm saying. And she can't contain her overflowing love for her longtime listener, Nanashiro, while streaming. Okay. And that's all we know about it. It seems like this one is- it, So this is like a slice of life VTuber manga, I guess? Yeah, it seems like this is a slice of life VTuber manga. Yeah. Um, And I think it literally debuted on like X, yeah. as, as mentioned. Yeah. So you could literally read this. By uh, going to uh, by you know finding the the author's the author's Twitter, Twitter account because yeah. I don't know if this has been like truly has this been like published by a publication or is it still only on X? Oh, no, this is only on X. So yeah, probably yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. It seems so like this it. hasn't been picked up yet. This is literally fans voting for a manga, a web manga mm. that doesn't even have an official publication. It is just an artist. On Twitter, yeah, it is just pumping your stuff out. A web manga, by definition, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's pretty much it. Congratulations for third place. Hey, you know what? W to the VTuber fans, you know. W to the VTuber fans, man. Sorry. So if okay. you want, uh, if you want to check out more info on this manga or any of the manga that we mention, you could click that. Uh, you can click, I don't know where it is. You could click the link in the pinned chat yep. to check out the next manga awards yep. for more info on all of these manga that mm -hmm. we have mentioned and we have talked about. Yeah. If you want to check it out yourself. Yeah. It's not, it's not, oh, it's not it's, since yet. it's like, since it, since we're doing this live, it's not fully updated yet, yeah. but it will be if you want to check out everything. Yep. All okay. Right, cool, cool. Okay. On to, yeah. I just thankfully from here on out yeah. we have actually read, we have every read everything. Single one. Guys, I just tuned in. Are the awards almost over already? No, no, we're not. We're, even we're, not, we're not even halfway. <laughs> not even halfway, guys. We got a lot to cover today. Yeah, guys. yeah, we got a, we got a lot to cover today. Shall we go on to number two? Silver medal for the web manga category goes oh. to. Rory Dragon! Dragon! Congratulations, Rory Dragon! So this one, if you've been, you know, kind of keeping up with Jump manga in the past year or so, this might be a title you've heard of before. I'd certainly heard of it before. I never actually got the chance to read it, though, up until doing this. Uh, so I finally got to sit down and read this first. Because I'd heard, I don't know about you, I'd heard so much about this manga when it first came out. Yeah, I heard so much about this manga yeah. as well. And then I heard it was like on hiatus for a bit. And then it came back. Um, mm. All I know was that I've just seen this girl's face everywhere. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> she is adorable yeah. and she looks adorable. And I was like, I don't even need to know what this manga <laughs> about is about to know what the appeal is. Yeah, though. yeah. Uh, but I will say this does have a, <laughs> this, this is a nice comfy 
slice of life manga, yeah, but it like does have a little bit of a little bit of a weird premise. Yeah, it's like slice of life coming of age, I would say, if I yeah. had to describe it in a way. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, you want to explain the premise? <laughs> Oh, and it's like to the. I mean, we've both read this one, so just, we're trying to figure out the best way to explain this. I just this like premise. saying this out loud. It's just like I saying this out loud. Uh, it's just I realize how weird it sounds. So, yeah. Ruri, this girl wakes up, and she finds out one day that she just woke up, and she has horns, yeah, and fangs, yeah, and she comes down, and she's like, "Mother, why do I have horns? Is this normal? I don't think this is, this is normal for a human being to uh, have horns. And she's like, oh yeah, that's because you're half dragon. And she's like, what do you mean I'm half dragon? <laughs> and she go, and her mother goes, well, to explain, that means your father is a dragon. Um, okay, well, I'm going to work now. See ya. Yeah, have fun at school. <laughs> have fun at school. And I was just like, what? Mother, are you not going to explain? The how, why are you dropping this info bomb on me right now? So, so after, so, okay, so put yourself into Ruri's shoes, right? You wake up like this and your mom just drops a fucking bombshell on you. And yeah. now you have to go to school, right? And you're probably thinking like, oh fuck, people in my class, people in my school are gonna think like me having these horns and these like fangs is gonna be weird. No, she goes to school and everyone's like, Yo, are those horns, dog? And she's like, yeah, I kind of woke up with it this morning. And they're like, oh, that's sick, dude. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I think my favorite part was when the homeroom teacher comes in and he's like, all right, everyone shut up now. Class is starting. Looks over at Ruri and he's like, Ruri, are those horns coming out of your head? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, is it a problem? And then she's like, no. And he's like, all right. All right, let's class start. Let's start class. Yeah, like everyone is just like way too okay. Yeah, everyone's just okay with this. Like, and uh, and there's just there's just so many parts. Like, like I I I fully understand the appeal of this manga because it is yeah. like especially the way that it's drawn. Uh, you know, like the character designs and kind of the the very chill slice of lifey and yet still coming of age type of vibe is definitely you know it will hit an audience that likes that kind of stuff. But yeah, just. Personally speaking, and Gon kind of you know agrees with me on this. There are just a couple of moments in this manga where I'm like, "Why did that happen?" So, so someone in chat asked, "Is this a comedy?" No, this no. this isn't a comedy. No. I just found it funny. Yeah, you know? it's, it's just like unironically funny. <laughs> yeah, because everyone just treats this piece of information just so normally. My, my, okay, so my favorite part, right? I think it's in chapter okay. two. Yeah. Uh, so she's you know she has the horns already. That's already been established by the class. It's just like, whatever, we have a classmate that has horns, who cares? Uh, and so she's like, you know, she, she the teacher's like, all right, Rory, stand up and read this part of the textbook. And she's like, oh fuck, I wasn't paying attention because I was asleep. And she wakes up, uh, you know, she gets up and she's about to start reading and she's like, I need to sneeze. Oh God, here it comes. And then she sneezes, but instead breathes a giant fireball. <laughs> completely disintegrates her textbook, burns the back of the guy's head that's sitting in front of him, nose and mouth start bleeding from the burns and she just passes out. <laughs> so you think like after that, it's like, well, fuck, you just fucked up. You, yeah. you can't go back to class after. You almost gave this man in front of you third degree burns and you just like, and now you can breathe fire because of course you're half dragon. So I was thinking like, okay, the, when we get to the part where she's back in school, it's going to be fucking weird. Like there's going to, yeah. there's going to be some questions thrown around. Yeah. What, ha what ends up happening is she, she goes back into the classroom, sees the dude who, you know, had the third degree burns on his head. And she's like, yeah, my bad dog. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I couldn't control it. And the guy goes, nah, it's all right, G. I needed a fresh cut anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, <laughs> you just got burnt in the back of your head. And you're just like, well, Needed that fresh cut anyway, <laughs> yeah. my G. Yeah. It's, it's it's just like, I don't know. It's so weird. Like maybe there's going to be like an explanation for it later down I don't, I don't think so because I, 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 think, I think I got the vibe when I saw those kinds of moments enough. Which this is just such a nice palate cleanser. Yeah. You know, it's just so nice and it's wholesome. Unique. And it just takes place in a world where things are just chill, man. Yeah. Things are just chill. It's just so calming. It actually reminded me of like the same feeling of like an Iyashike or that yeah, kind of thing. Where 100%. it's just like, yeah, okay. If we're, if this actually happened in the world, I think the people would act differently, mm. but it's just such, it just heals you just to see yeah. the world 
work like this. Because- and, I, and I think as well, like, you know, a big reason why I call it a coming of age manga is because like, it's, I feel like the main focus, it, just within this first volume, a lot of the focus tends to be centered around Rui trying to kind of get over her differences and the fact that she's a half dragon and kind of learn to live in this way. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, kind of like overcoming that in a sense, but yeah. it done in a very like wholesome EHK type of way. Yeah. I mean, it's very, I can see why it, you know, connected with a lot of the young audience mm. that have, you know, really, really, really love this manga. Cause mm. I know this has a very dedicated fan base because mm-hmm. it very much is reminiscent of like puberty or something like yeah, that, you know, it kind of feels like almost like something like Fooly Cooly where mm. you have all this weird stuff happening and there's just the main character in the middle just, just trying to figure it all out. Yeah. I think the moment that sold me on this manga was just seeing the mum try to like help her get through the fire breathing part yeah. of herself and just help her understand how to control it and everything mm. like that. And I'm like, oh man, this, this is this is just nice. But at the same time, the mum is also like, yeah, so I went to go see, I went to go climb up a mountain to see your dad the other day to talk about it. Um, yeah. Do you want to meet him? Because I realized <laughs> like you've never really met the dude. And, she, and Rui's just like, Nah, I'm good, dog. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, yeah, so like it's 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 so like this one is definitely just unique because I've read a lot of Yashke in my life, but like it's it's there's very few Yashke that just have such a an interesting premise for one, but also just like the way that characters interact with one another is just so not realistic. Yeah, but it almost doesn't like it initially shocks you you know yeah. obviously because we're talking it, it, about it, it, it but then me. after a while you're kind of just like you just start to like accept that it's like oh yeah it's well, just a vibe it's just a vibe like this, just, is, this is just the world that they live in it's, it's just, like it's, whatever this, this world is just a vibe yeah. this manga is a vibe um i just feel cleansed every time i read a chapter yeah and i can see why this has such a big popularity and so glad it finally got out of hiatus as yeah well. finally got glad yeah. it got out of hiatus so uh if you need just brighten up your day a bit. Yeah. Uh, highly recommend Ruri Dragon. Yep. It is, uh, it's very, it's cleansing for the soul. Yeah. It's very 100%. nice. Vibes. All right. Which, so that was the silver medal, but now we are on to the winner of the web manga category. The gold medal for this year goes to... Oh. Boom! Go meets rock. This... <sighs> I had, unlike Ruri Manga, I had not heard of this one before. Right. Um, I, so I didn't get the chance to read this one. Okay. So this is all up to God here. But okay. I really wanted, I mean, I was like, rock a chick, say less. Yeah, okay, okay. I was just like, I, I, had, my, I had my PTSD, you know, reading this manga, Joey. Why? All right, let me, let me, let me just tell you the beginning of this uh, manga, all right? Okay. All right, this girl, she's like, I think I like guitar. And I think, uh, so the first thing that I liked was, um, I, the first thing I liked is that they actually use real guitars, like okay. real brands. Yeah. She's like, oh man, the Fender Stellacaster looks so fucking sick. Strat- Stratocaster? Uh, Stratocaster, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Right. sorry, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and so I was like, oh, okay, real guitars, that's cool. Yeah. And so she's like, oh, maybe, maybe I want to try doing guitar. Goes to school. Um, and I was like, and then she was like, I think I'm gonna join the light music club. And I was like, it's one of those. I was like, gah, gah, I've been here before. I've been here before. Never mentioned the light music club in my ears again. <laughs> but um, honestly, it's not like that other anime that I've had a history with. Yes. Um, this one actually reminded me, uh, so last, last year there was an anime called Skip and Loafer. Mm. And that was also a very comfy anime about like this, you know, girl that came from like the countryside, mm. learning to live the city life. Sure. And it was just a very nice, innocent girl, uh, just living that, uh, living that life. Mm. Um, and this gave me the same vibe, mm. but instead of, you know, a country bumpkin learning the city life, mm. it is a girl who has, Zero knowledge of music, mm. trying to start her own band. Okay. With basically no prior knowledge, sure. no nothing. Um, and her just figuring her way through the world of music and the world of making friends mm. and making connections mm. in order to actually make a band. Sure. And uh, the biggest thing I will say is that, Joey, they play music in this one. Oh, thank God. 
They, 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 play, they play music in this one. They actually play music in a music manga. <laughs> yes. Ain't no way. Yes. Yes. All right. That, that, is, that is it. That is it. Say they, less, they, dog. So, so in case you are wondering, it's not just a slice of life. They do play music in this manga Sick. in the first few chapters. And that's, how, that's when I was like, okay. Okay, I okay. am sold. They're in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah, like I said, this is like Skip and Loafer meets Bocce the Rock. Okay, you know? sure. Um, and again, this is another very comfy manga. There were a lot of comfy mangas in the web mm. category this year. Like yeah. this one, like Rory Dragon. I feel like the Japanese audience, cause you know, this is a Japanese award. I, I could definitely feel, I could definitely see the trends that the <laughs> Japanese audience went I mean, for. I mean, there is that as well, but there's also like, you know, you, you have like the wholesome ones, like, you know, this one and the Ruri Dragon. And then you just have some of the most like filthy, spicy, <laughs> like, like in the best way possible. Yeah. Just like the most, the spiciest manga out yeah. there as well. Uh, right. You know, the the, the category, uh, the, the range of the categories has been quite awesome this year. Yeah. So, hell yeah. Damn it. Someone in chat yeah, just I, asked, how's the music though? Shut up, chat. Shut up. Is it good though? Shut up, chat. Is, is, the, good, is the music good though? <laughs> Shut up. Do they, do they have good taste? Well, when they saw the band, there was one guy that was like, uh, I just want to play like bump, uh, bump of chicken. Uh, that's uh, that's what I want to play. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I'll allow it. All right, I'll, I'll allow it, I'll, I'll allow, allow it. it. Another guy's like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to play Radwimps right now. Right now. I'll like, allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. Good taste. <laughs> and Hell that yeah. is, all of the winners of the web category, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely so, some highlights in this one. Uh, excited to read actually a majority of these like further yeah. uh, than volume one, so. Yeah, yeah but yeah. we will keep them on the table in case you, you know, you have forgotten. If you mm -hmm. wanna find out more information, um, click that link in the pinned chat to uh, find out more information about all the winners when it gets updated because we have not stopped announcing the winners just yeah. yet. We are only about halfway through. That was only the web manga. That was only the web manga. We have to talk about print manga, Ooh. the more traditional manga that uh, a lot of people are used to. Oh, uh, yeah. These are the manga that normally gets printed in weekly, show, uh, weekly magazines, I mm -hmm. should say, like mm -hmm. physical magazines. Uh, so there, you know, this is normally some of the ones that have the biggest titles in it. Yeah. All right, so should so we just get going then? Let's just get going. All right. To number 10. Number 10 in the in Prince manga place. category goes to... Oh. <coughs> uh, bruh. Kill Blue. Kill... Kill Kill Blue. So this, uh, you some people, attentive viewers, might recognize the art style. Uh, this is done by Fujimaki Sensei, who is the creator of Kuroko no Basuke. Yeah. And, I, I, uh, I, I, I saw the cover of this and I was like, where do I know that from? Yeah. Where, do I, where do I recognize the art style Same from? Same author as Kuroko. But uh, yeah. this time around, he has cooked up uh, not a basketball manga. In fact, quite the opposite. Uh, so have you read this one? I have read the first chapter yes. of this one. Okay, so essentially the premise is it starts off with uh, not actually this boy immediately. Uh, we're actually introduced to our main character who is a legendary assassin in the underground world. Uh, you know, he's really, really good at like fulfilling his job, doing dirty deeds, killing people, all that kind of stuff. And then one day after he finishes up his job, he goes home, he's just chilling on the balcony, reminiscing of his life, being like, man... I've, I'm, I'm divorced, I have a kid, I'm like running around like doing these like criminal activities, killing criminals, like, man, what am I doing with my life, man? And then suddenly he gets stung by a bee right in his neck. And he's like, ow, that fucking hurt. Wait, I'm feeling lightheaded, passes out, wakes up in the hospital room looking like this. So this bee has somehow forced the legendary assassin to revert back to a middle schooler. Yep. But still with the personality in his body. So in that sense, it's kind of similar to the beginnings of like Detective Conan. I was like, this is John Wick Detective this Conan. This is John Wick this Detective is, Conan. This is literally just John Wick yeah. Detective Conan. If Conan was uh, John Wick, yeah. this is what this manga is. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, he is like, well, fuck, what am I gonna do, man? I'm stuck in this like kid's body. And the first thing the, the higher up say to him is like, all right, here's your first mission go to school. <laughs> and he was like, what? 
<laughs> it's like, nah, dog, I need to figure out like how to get my body back. And he's like, no, 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 trust us. Attend school. I mean, like you dropped out at, I think it said like you dropped out at primary school. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, this will be a fresh moment for you anyway. And he's just like, bro, I'm 39 years old. I'm not going to enjoy this shit. Goes to school, enjoys the fuck out of it. He's like, yo, this is what I missed out on, dog. <laughs> and then throughout that time, he is like slowly gaining information behind the scenes while trying to blend into society. Um, later on, they find out that, okay, we've like, we're starting to get hints here. So this, this all happens in the first volume. Uh, we, we're starting to get hints here of who might've been behind the reason why you became like this. So that bee that you got stung by actually had a special chemical in it that is still under wraps. And oh. it's it's kind of been used as like a, a weapon of sorts, like a secret military weapon that is spearheaded by one of the top uh, medicinal companies in Japan. Right. So what we need you to do is to kind of like blend in. Don't don't like, you know, because obviously he's a 14 year old kid, but all of his abilities as a legendary assassin are still intact. So this guy can like really good with pistols, like just yep. like combat, all that kind of stuff. But obviously he doesn't want to stand out too much because he might get killed or whatever. Yeah. Um, the, the first volume ends where, <laughs> it's so funny. The first volume ends where they're like, okay, we figured it out. We know the name of the company that was responsible for that beasting. We found out that the daughter of the head of this company is your classmate. Of course, of course. So we need you to get in close contact with her to try and get enough information out of her. <laughs> and he was like, dog, you're telling a 39 year old dude to approach a 14 year old schoolgirl? No, what the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you, dog? The correct response. Correct response, right? <laughs> the correct but then response. a really interesting plot twist happens in this first volume that I think just like completely changes the dynamic of this. So like at first it kind of starts off like, you know, this just like 39 year old legendary assassin just trying to fit into school and not be yeah. standing out too much. But then they were like, Oh yeah, so uh, you know that like daughter of the the head of that medicinal company that's supposedly behind all the actions. Um, we're gonna have to get you to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they just made like an announcement on national TV. What? That uh, whoever marries the daughter of the founder of this company becomes the successor of the company. <laughs> so if you want to go back to normal, you're going to have to marry her. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, this is not the direction I was thinking it was going to go. And now obviously because this like girl has this like giant fortune of a family behind her, there are every single like dude in the school and all over the country yeah. is basically trying to marry her and to like yeah. get her. But obviously this dude doesn't want that because he's like, well, if that happens, then I'm you know, gonna lose contact with her. I'm gonna be stuck in this body forever. So now it becomes this manga of essentially trying to, uh, this 39 year old dude in the body of a 14 year old trying to court this other 14 year old and protect her from all these other insane people by using his assassination skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm like, that, just explain that premise. I was yeah. just like, this this manga is fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, I only read the first chapter of that, but like, it seems like we are going through like, I, I don't know if we can call it a trend, but yeah. definitely there seems to be a lot of like assassin spy yeah. gag manga because this is this is just a wild gag manga. Yeah. Is what. Uh, with is, some serious elements. With some serious elements. Yeah. Definitely feels like Spy Family started something. I think you so. Know? I think because so. I feel like I've, we've seen, not just in this year, last year as well, we had mm -hmm. like, like a lot of different, you know, spy gag mangas kind of like winning awards as well. Well the, well, the one that I remember from last year was, uh, do you remember the manga Kindergarten Wars? Kindergarten Wars, Wars. yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a winner awesome. last year as well. Yeah. So this seem, this very much seems to be that same kind of genre mm -hmm. or same kind of vibe where it's just like a wacky gag manga. And it <laughs> sounds like it gets- Yeah, done by the author of Kuroko. <laughs> Kuroko no <things>. Basket. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it gets pretty wild. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I'm, I'm definitely want to read this one. Yeah, yeah check that one out if you want another- Kill Blue. Wacky spy uh, assassin gag manga. Hell yeah. All right. All right. Next up, we have ninth place. Ninth place, print manga category goes to... Oh. 
Fall in love, you false angel. <laughs> yeah.、Um. <laughs> so I also,、uh, so I love the print manga. I left to Joey to read, but I did、yep. actually read a few chapters of this. Yep. I, I don't really know how to describe this manga aside from、uh, I, I, I read the first chapter, and the first thing I said to Joey was that, oh, this manga is Emerichu coded. <laughs> This is this is so Emerichu coded. It, really it actually、is. hurts. I think I think the way if I would explain this manga, and it might not do justice, but this is the vibe I got. This is like if Kaguya Sama lent really heavily in the shojo direction. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way I can describe it. Yeah. So you have these two.、Uh, you have these two people in、mm-hmm. their school who are basically, you know, the 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 perfect student, the perfect the perfect girl. Meets the perfect boy. I believe, like she's the Madonna of、mm. the school, and、yep. he's like, you know, like kind of like prince. the prince, yeah, the perfect kind of prince.、Um, but little secret, little secret. Actually, the girl, the girl has the girl has a little bit of a wilder side, yeah.、Uh, which I don't know how wild it is because I saw her wilder side, and her wilder side is like shit, like. Oh, she、uh, doesn't say please sometimes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That it's like that kind of energy when I'm like, this this is the side you're like worried other people are gonna see. And, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so one day, uh, she, uh, one day she realizes that uh, the guy who is also you know on the surface the perfect kind of like ikemen like、yeah. character you realize ooh he's also got a little bit of a darker、he's、side as well he's a little bit of a bad boy、ooh. as well and、uh, she has the reputation for like you know making anyone like fall in love with、yep. her you know、yep. like arrow straight to the heart、yep. and chapter 1 ends With the guy showing the little bit of the badder side, just 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 a taste of the badder side that he's not just the perfect guy. Yeah, he's a little bit of a bad boy as well. And the girl who steals heart gets her heart stolen. And I don't blame her because I was bricked up. <laughs> and and I closed the chapter and I was like, I need to message Emily right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so that's that's kind of why I said it was like kind of Kaguya Sama, where it's like、yeah. you don't know the guy's intentions, uh, but definitely the girl's intentions remind me of Kaguya, where it's like, you know, she obviously has this crush on this like you know very, you know. Highly sophisticated, like prince type character, but、yeah. she doesn't want to be honest with herself because that's going to break this persona that she's been trying to push out publicly for like all this time, right? And and she's like, no, 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 I don't want to be the one that's falling in love. I want to make people fall in love with me. Yeah, but this ishy motherfucker is making it really difficult for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and、uh, yeah, no, it's it's really cool. Like it's again like. It is a lot like Kaguya Sama in that sense, but I feel it definitely leans more in the shojo side of things. Very, very shojo. Very, very shojo. This is shoujo. about as shojo as it gets. Yeah, but、um, hey, man, I love a good fucking shojo. I love、now. a good、we'll、shojo as well,、yeah. and I'm definitely gonna be hitting up Emily with this one because I know she's going to love this oh, one. Oh, she'll love that. Yeah. Um. Very nice. You, you know, it's not like as spicy as some of like the other mangas that we had so far, but it has a little bit of a tinge to it.、Mm-hmm. You know.、Um, yeah. So if you want your shojo. I don't recommend this one.、Yeah. Fall in love, you false angels. Yeah, right on. All right, all right. <coughs> Moving go on. To, God, God, to, God damn it, Joey. I am McDonald's. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, eighth place print manga category、place. goes to. Oh, 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 oh. oh is it me? Yeah.、Uh, th- th- this one. Noah is my senior and my friend. Noah senpai wa tomodachi. Uh, the th- the top thing on my notes for this is. In all caps, she's fucking cute. <laughs> I mean, look at her. She's fucking cute, dog. I can't lie. I can't lie. She's Jedi K as fuck, but I love her. <laughs>、uh, so this one is as the kind of vibe of the cover suggests and the title suggests.、Um, it is very much more of a slice of life, another Eosh K type one. With a little bit of romantic splashes thrown into it, yeah.、Uh, so the essentially the premise is the main character,、uh, main guy. He works at a,、uh, I think it's like a visual novel or like a bishojo game company, essentially.、Right. Uh, but he's kind of this like very 
apathetic type of guy. Like he doesn't really care about like being friends or, you know, making friends or like, you know, going out and socializing and stuff like that. Like all he wants is to work, you know, spend time in his hobbies and his interests and have some alone time. Yeah. Uh, and he's, you know, he's, he's content with that. He's cool with that. Uh, but then one day, and, and in his workforce, uh, there is a character, Noah-san, this character right here, who is like a, a top like game dev like in the company. Like she's in like a pretty big spot. Like, you know, she's she's always surrounded by people being like, oh, Noah-senpai, Noah-senpai, help out, help out. And, you know, she's she's very much like the face of the company. But then it, just in a happenstance after work once, uh, they both start talking to one another. And he realizes <coughs> that Noah isn't exactly the social butterfly that she makes herself course, out to be. Of course, of if course. If anything, she herself has a lot of baggage, uh, has a lot of issues with being social and making friends, right? There's one chatter that just says, just says I also want an extrovert girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so- well, surprise. Yeah, like, oh, here we are. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, after talking about it with the MC, uh, she goes now. Normally, in a manga like that, that would usually be the start of like some kind of romance story, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of like you know, like oh, you know, maybe let's like hang out and do whatever. But no, instead, Noah goes, "Hey, can we just be friends?" Mm -hmm. And the guy's kind of just like, "Yeah, I guess so." <laughs> like, <laughs> I kind of don't really want to, but I kind of feel bad for you. So yeah, all right, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's let's see. Let's be friends. Let's figure it out. So it's like think of like your most like stereotypical like rom-com like in the workplace type manga, okay. but take the majority of the romance away and ju it just starting from the first, not even the first base. Like right, they right. Ju have just start on the star line and it's two characters trying to figure out social norms and social cues and just how to be friends. And, right. you know, I'll, I will say later down the first chapter, there are slight hints from Noah's side being like, hang on a second, this apathetic, boring motherfucker is like starting to get in my feelings Ooh. in a weird way. Cause like Ooh. he is kind of my only friend and he's putting up with my bullshit. Uh, there are lots of moments in this where Noah's just straight up like, yo, I shouldn't have said that. I'm actually going to kill myself. <laughs> and the guy's like, Hold up, dog. <laughs> like, I don't want you doing that. No one wants you doing wait, that. Wait, Chill out. Hey, actually, yeah, actually, like there's actually moments where, it, at least in Japanese, she just goes like, "I'm gonna die." <laughs> it's just like, bro, it ain't, it ain't that deep. Relax. Whoa. Yeah. So, like, obviously, you know, she's a little bit uh, in the head, but you know, th there's there's lots of parts of her that, uh, you know, where she kind of shows off more of like her very like human side, and there's definitely a lot of like, it's. I would say it's like. I think I wrote down in my notes. It's this is like friend zone the the manga. <laughs> oh no. It's like friend zone oh, the no. manga. Okay. It's like don't expect there to be anything like spicy happening in this manga even though like the the, the character design might point otherwise that right. it might go in like an itchy, you know, slightly itchy direction. Literally none of that. Okay. It is okay. it is the most like vanilla like hand hold not even hand holding like if 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 eye contact was a tag, like that, this would be it. <laughs> like, it. It doesn't get any spicier than that, but it's very cute, very wholesome, and she's fucking cute and adorable as well. Okay, so yeah, congratulations to Noah, who's my senior and my friend. Yep. eighth place, eighth place. Well done. All right. All right, let's move on. Seventh place in the print manga category goes to. Oh. Boo! Nui's Exorcist. Woo! Nui another, no another jump manga. The jump, second. Jump's second, killing it, bro. Jump, uh, jump is, uh, yeah. Jump, uh, <laughs> jump's, jump's killing it. Jump's killing jump's it. Jump's always killing it, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So I have also only read the first chapter of this. Okay. Um, so what, what's your what's your what's your takeaway of the plot so far? Do you want to explain the plot as as far as you know? Yeah. For, so from what I remember, first off, uh, I love Nui. <laughs> yeah. <same. laughs> uh, I had one reason uh, why uh, that drew me to this manga immediately, and that was Nui because yeah. she. I just love her vibe. I yeah. love her energy. I just love everything about her. Dog, she's an otaku. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so the main character who can see spirits or see uh, ghosts, right? Mm. Um, he 
he basically is like a very self selfless guy. He sees a person getting bullied and he's like, no, actually bully me, bully me. Yeah. I'll, I'll be the one, I'll be the one who is bullied actually. Yeah. Um, so he goes up one day and he sees this, like all these ghosts and ghouls uh, like coming appar together. Apparitions, I yeah, guess. Apparitions coming yeah. together, scares the shit out of him. Yeah. And then what do they turn into? They turn into Nuit. And after that, she's like, why do you join me? <laughs> and he's like, what do you want me to do? Um, and uh, what she wants him to do is uh, play video games. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, come into my room. And he's like, am I going to die? And he's like, no, we are yeah. going to play Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> we are just going to play Smash Bros. Nothing, nothing scary, nothing, yeah. nothing, uh, nothing else. They just play Smash Bros together. And he's like, are you really a, are you really a demon ghoul, whatever you mm. are? And she's like, yeah, you know. I'm uh I'm one of the chill ones, I guess, because yeah. uh part of the problem is when, you know, sometimes when people have bad energy, then these ghouls can manifest mm. into real things, mm. into real dangerous things. And so what happens? The bullies, while they're bullying the previous person, they uh manifest this fucking monster or something yep. like that that just starts killing everyone. Yep. Um and of course, the main character wants to come and save the day, and Nui is like don't worry, bro. I got you covered. He gets a power and uh, he kills the monster. Yep. And it is very much exactly what you expect from the start of a Shonen Jump action manga. Yeah. Uh, and then it's around from chapter two where we start to kind of get a deeper understanding of the, the actual setting. So uh, as the title suggests, uh, you know, there are lots of like kind of secretly hidden in society. There are these exorcists who are not only able to see these apparitions and fight like the main character, but it's their whole duty to destroy these types of apparitions. And Nue being one such apparition, although being a chill apparition is also, you know, has the target on her back. But obviously our main character, you know, having his life being saved by Nue and getting these powers and, you know, I guess bringing more purpose into his life wants to protect Nue. Mm -hmm. So, he meets a classmate who also just happens to be an exorcist and she basically like puts him to the test to be yeah. like, well, okay, you got all these powers from this like new age chick or whatever. Let's see though, if you can actually withstand combat like we exorcists do. Uh, and he manages to do so. And in turn, he decides to join that classmate into being an exorcist. And then essentially from there after a while, you get introduced to more of these like exorcist characters who are uh, their sole purpose is to destroy Nui. Yeah. Uh, but so now this main character is kind of left in a, in a weird predicament where it's like, well, I want to help you guys destroy these bad apparitions that are doing shit, but I want you to leave Nui alone Yeah. because she saved my life. And she's not, she's not one of those bad apparitions. She's not like the rest of them apparitions. <laughs> she's not one of, she's not like those other ones. She's not like those other apparitions. <laughs> yeah. She plays Smash Bros. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, don't, don't hurt her. All right. <laughs> so that's where it kind of is at uh, in the first chapter. Really like, you know, and I say this in the best way possible, just the most simple, cut and dry, no bullshit shonen manga. Supernatural yeah. shonen manga. Pretty much the vibe that I got from this manga as yeah. well. It's, uh, it's what you'd expect from a shonen action manga. Yep. And uh, if you like the characters, which I did, I liked Nui a lot. Mm. I, I might continue reading this one. You're going to love the classmate exorcist character. Oh, the classmate exorcist? Yeah. yeah All yeah. I saw was the Nui's like a otaku. Then I saw her in like the school uniform. I was like, all right, you sold me. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me sh show me the classmate. Yeah, show me I the classmate. Like, I was like, yo, Nui's got kind of competition, dog. Oh no, no, don't tell that. Don't say that to me. Uh, don't say that to me. Wait, oh man. Oh, uh, well, I mean. <laughs> oh, ooh, yeah, I, ooh, yeah, right? ooh, okay, okay. And then, and then there's a third ex, and then there's a third ex. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, okay, so it's okay. like the character, each chapter they're introducing a new character and I'm just like, I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Nui's Exorcist, Nui no Yomyoji, check it out. Yeah. All right, shall we go on to number six? Yes. Number six? Number six. Uh, the sixth place, I should say, sixth place. Sixth All place right. in the print manga category goes to... Oh. Boo! Super, Super Psychic, Psychic Policeman, Policeman Chojo. Chojo. Chojo Senpai. Chojo Senpai. Another jump 
one. <laughs> Another jump one. And very much like uh, Sachiroku, the, this other print manga one that we had here, uh, the most absurdist of comedy mangas. Is that? Okay, okay. Because this is a jump manga, so I wasn't sure. I haven't read this one. I didn't have time for it yeah. to read this one. I left this one to Joey. Yep. Uh, um, yeah. What, what is it about, Joey? Okay, so essentially the uh, premise of it is is that we have uh, on the cover there the, the girl on the left-hand uh, side there. She's a newly graduated police officer. So she just finished the academy, and it's her time to be stationed at a police station in Japan somewhere. Where does she get stationed? She gets stationed in West Shinjuku, mm -hmm. right? Where it... Like, it's explained in the manga, but also in the real world, one of the most dangerous areas in Tokyo. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. Lots, of, lots of crime happens there, unfortunately. Okay. So when you're visiting West Shinjuku, just be aware of that. Uh, but the head of that particular police station there is not just any police officer. It is Chojo Senpai, the main character, who just happens to have psychic powers. Right. And... You know, you'd think that, oh, a police station with a dude who has psychic powers and who can read people's minds and everything would be, like, insane. Like, the the, 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 the protection must be insane there. Like, why would I be stationed here? Well, it turns out that this dude, Chojo Senpai, just doesn't do his job and is the worst human being alive. Right. Like, he literally, instead of, like, stationing himself at the police station and helping people out, he goes to, like... He basically goes and buys gunplas and just like makes gunplas, and just like and, and basically just like does his hobbies at the police station. Right. So it's this interesting, uh, abs another absurdist uh, comedy manga where it's essentially the wacky adventures of this like police, you know, woman girl who is fresh out of the academy who also just happens to be like incredibly like powerful and buff because she's like a judo champion or something. Working, you know, with you know, working in tandem with this just horrible human being of a of a psychic police detective, um, and that's honestly just the main premise. It's like kind of an episodic absurdist comedy where they try and solve crimes. Uh, there's like a character where it's just like an AI like police robot that shows up who is okay. like completely sentient, but is also just like the most hilarious character in the show. Like, yeah, really, like. I would say the best way, like if you've read or seen anything that's like Boba Bo, yeah, very much that vibe. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep referring you're, back you're, to Boba Bo. Anytime, Bo. anytime, he, anytime Joey's like, I'm gonna get a Boba Bo reference yeah. in. Anytime uh, I in can mention Boba Bo, I'm gonna mention Boba Bo, right? But <laughs> yeah. like, if you've seen or read Boba Bo and you realize just how fucking absurd that comedy is, it's very much like that. And Shonen Jump has in the past done a lot of these kinds of absurdist uh, comedy manga. Like one that I grew up with that I love is this manga called Pyuto Fukujaga, mm -hmm. which was around like in like the mid 2000s, which is just another one of these just like, what, how do you think up of shit like this kind of like comedy manga? Right. This is very much like that. Okay. Um. Yeah. So yeah. if you like your uh, absurdist comedy, this is the one. Check this check one out. out. Someone yeah. said, so, mo so mob psycho, but Reagan the MC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like if Reagan, but if like Reagan was like the worst human being alive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only way to describe it. Yeah. All right. Well, we are into our final five, five for five, the maybe. print manga category. These are, now we get to the big boys. The big boys. The big so. boys. So at number five, we have. <laughs> we have. Boo. Cosmos, Cosmos, banger! One of my favorites. Uh, actually, one, one of my same. one of my, one of the favorites same. that I read. Same. Oh my god, this was so good. So interesting little tidbit about this one that I read up on uh, after I finished reading it. Uh, yeah. Apparently, this manga was heavily, heavily loved by Kubo Taito, the creator of Bleach. Uh, he personally was like, "This needs to win an award." <laughs> um, and guess what, Kubo Sensei? It did. You made it happen. You made, you it, made happen. it happen. So, you want to explain the premise of this one? Uh, this is basically just fuck. It's just Men in Black, isn't it? Yeah, that, <laughs> I literally wrote down Repo Man, Men in Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is just Men in Black. So, uh, so it's it's got like it's there's a lot of there's a lot of aspects to it. So mm. the main character, he's human. But he also has this ability to tell if someone is lying. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that get ex gets explained later. Uh, no, I think it gets explained literally at the first page. I, no, I don't know if that gets explained why he can do that oh, or if it's no, like, no, an, no. like a power power or no. if it's just like he, he just, just has, has like, that power. He just yeah. has like immaculate like 
sh- bullshitting a bit. <laughs> Basically, uh, he's played enough games of Among Us that no one wants to play with him ever again. That's like kind of the vibe I got from it. He literally smells if you're lying. He's like, you smell sus. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So uh, one day uh, he just finds out, I, I can't remember, I've read this a few days ago, but mm. it turns out that uh, this earth is a society where aliens just come visit as yep. like tourists. Maybe they come as, you know, uh, to live here permanently. Mm. Maybe they have to come here as a tourist. Uh, but he fa- he meets this girl who is uh, who works for an insurance company. Yep. Uh, a life insurance company, a gal- intergalactic life insurance company that basically goes around making sure that uh, everyone is playing is paying their down payments and shit like mm-hmm. that, and making sure that no one's overstaying their visas. Yep. Uh, and it's uh, I don't know how far you read, but when I read it, it was like kind of like an episodic kind of manga where yeah. every chapter it would be her and would it would be the main guy taking mm. on different cases yeah. of different aliens that had visited Earth and whatever storyline that they were going yeah. through. Yeah, so I, I basically just read that that first chapter that you're holding there. So I guess yeah. you read ahead. Like I, 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 re- I read a few chapters ahead yeah. and I wasn't sure whether this was going to be like an action manga mm. or you know what, what kind of manga this would be. Because the mm. first two chapters definitely had a lot of action in it. Yeah. Um, literally, uh, it just turns out that every person around this guy is like an alien <laughs> of some sort. That's just that's just basically it. But there was one chapter that I thought was really, really well done, and mm. that was like chapter three, right? Uh, where he finds this, uh, he finds this alien who turns out to be like an associate of it, like a yeah. like a coworker of his. Oh, the works in the cafe. Uh, yes. Yeah, I love that yeah. chapter. So turns out she has space cancer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> More yeah, commonly, I shit you not, more commonly known as the common cold. But the common, the, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> the common cold, uh, the common cold is uh, lethal to aliens. Yeah. Uh, so oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So she's basically, she's basically terminal. Yeah. Uh, and so she wants to give all of her insurance money to her friend, which turns out to be her cat. Mm. Don't worry about it. Just, everyone's yeah. aliens. The cat men can in talk. Black. Yeah. The cat can talk. It's it's men in black basically. Um, but, uh. But he's like, no, no, I, I, I want to make sure, I, I want to give you, uh, you, you can't just do that. I want to give you uh, a good send off. So he asked yeah. the insurance company, can we do something for this woman? Yeah. And they're like, well, she has life insurance and we have a policy to allow anyone with terminal illness to take out their insurance prematurely so they can use it however they want. Sure. Which I fucking wish insurance companies did this <laughs> because this makes insurance company seem like they have a heart. Yeah. Um. And so he just takes her and just goes around the world and- They go to Machu Picchu. They go to Machu Picchu and there are some beautiful panels that just got me super emotional. Yeah, definitely. Um, And- I think that's actually the chapter that, I think it's chapter four, because I think that that's the chapter that ends this first volume, if I'm not mistaken. It might be actually. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the chapters are pretty damn long. Yeah. Um, So- I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is the one yeah. uh, because I, I read this a few days ago, but it's got like a, it's got a, like a mix of like heartwarming kind of stories and mm. a lot of action as well. Yeah, really good supernatural action. Yeah, um, is that power? I will say everyone in this insurance company, they do give off the Chainsaw Man energy. I, I was going to say. Because yeah. everyone is just in suits. It, it's not beating the Men in Black fucking <laughs> accusations because every because everyone in this insurance company turns up in black suits and ties yeah. and it looks awesome. And I don't know. I, 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 th- I think my favorite part that like threw me for a loop where I noticed that this manga was going to go off the walls with its setting yeah. is when uh, the, the main girl takes the guy to like the, the headquarters of the insurance company and to like meet with the boss. Yeah. And they go like all the, like, you know, they travel through this like, you know, uh, building and whatnot. And they make it to the top of the building. And then the girl's just like, look outside. What do you notice? And he was like, oh, that's like a cool projection of space. And he's like, we're actually on the moon right now. <laughs> and he was like, okay, how did that happen? <laughs> and the, it's like not explained any further after that. It's just yeah. like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this that's basically the best way that I can describe it. It is just Men in Black. Uh, men in Black, edition. Repo Man. Re- men in Black, Repo Man. Except in like a, in comic book form because yeah. it's a bunch of 
bunch of uh, individual stories. Yep. I don't know if it's building up to a bigger storyline, but I, I feel really like enjoyed it. Is, it. Yeah. I feel like it is. Yeah. But I really, really enjoyed this yeah. one. This has easily gotten my favorite one. One of my one of one of our favorite yeah, ones. Hundred percent. All Give right. And it's made by the author of uh is it Beelzebub as well? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, you're right. Yeah, Tamara you're here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the, yeah, he's the creator of Beelzebub. Oh yeah. wow. I bro, I didn't even fucking reckon realize. <laughs> Yeah, that is totally the art style. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it is. God it damn. is. It's made by the same author. Oh, he cooked. Yeah, he, he did cook. Right on. <laughs> All right. So. Let's move on to the fourth place for the print manga category. And that goes to... Oh. Boom. Dogs Red. Dogs Red. Uh, another one uh, done by a manga author that you might be aware of, Noda Satoru-san. He is the creator of Golden Kamui. Yeah, I did not know that until Joey pointed it out. And, and now you won't be able to unsee and it. And now I can't <laughs> unsee it. Um, this was really good as well. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed this one. As you can probably tell from the cover, this is a sports manga. Yep. Canadians, if you are awake right now, this is it. This is your manga. Your representation. This is your representation. This is everything that you've ever wanted. Yeah. Uh, because it is an ice hockey manga and I know nothing about ice hockey. Mm. So this manga is very, very useful <laughs> in teaching me everything that I need to know about ice hockey yeah. as with every sports manga. But, but it's not just a regular ice hockey manga. In fact, the, the premise is quite unique. So our main character uh, is actually like a junior japan champion of figure skating um and you know he was kind of born in a in a household we don't quite know the full details of the main character yet because again we'd only read the first volume of this but it's kind of hinted that he he had like a kind of a tough upbringing uh but a family that was very dedicated and pushed him to do figure skating and he wanted to pursue that career because you know his family was like really like yeah i think you'll be a great figure skater uh, so he goes, he, it starts off literally chapter one. It starts off, he wins this competition and everyone's like, oh man, what a celebratory moment. What a congratulatory moment. This is going to be great for him. Instead, he just absolutely wrecks shit. He starts throwing chairs. He starts destroying the sponsor walls and basically gets uh, excommunicated from the figure skating community. Yes. Excommunicado, if you will. Exiled. <laughs> Exiled. Ban uh, banished. I, th I think the word Joey's looking for is banned. Banned. Yeah. <laughs> he, got the, he, got, he got the ban hammer. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he, got, he got the ban hammer from got, the figure skating. He got perma banned from doing figure he skating. He got perma banned, right? Yeah. So, and, you know, even after reading this first volume, you're not quite sure as the reader why he did that, right? Yeah. Because he had his hopes set high in the future of figure skating, but then he kind of ruined it for everything. And then you find uh, you find out that you know he he has a long lost family that lives up in Hokkaido, and so you know after he got banned from the figure skating world, he was like, you know what, let's go visit your family in Hokkaido to cool your head off a bit, figure out what the fuck is going on. Uh, while up there, he enrolls in a school uh, that has a figure uh, sorry not a figure skating club, an ice hockey club, and this school is like a really weak team. And so weak, in fact, that the school is going to close down the following year. So for this club, this uh, ice, skate, uh, ice hockey club, it is the last year to play. But they don't have enough players. Of course, it's the sports manga. Because it's a sports this is, manga. This is sports manga. Yeah. Uh, last year. Last guys, year. we just want to play together one we more gotta time. We've got to make it count. Just yeah. one last time. Let's get the boys together. I don't care if we lose. We're going to do it. Right. But they yeah. go up against a really powerful high school. Right, but they don't have enough players to play. But then they notice they find some of the uh, club members find you know our main character just like ripping shit on the ice because he's a figure skater, and they're like, "Yo, you know how to rip shit on the ice? Can you like play in this game that's gonna start in like two hours?" Um, and he was like, uh, "Yeah, but I've never played ice hockey in my life." And he's like, "Don't worry, you just just we need just the do it. Just, just do, do it. it. We need the people." <laughs> yeah. And then during this first match that you read in this first volume, you kind of like. It's, it's this like joint process of like the main character learning about like the, the tough parts and the joyous parts of uh, ice, ice, hockey ice hockey that is different to figure skating. But then there's this unique twist where he actually uses his figure skating skills in the ice hockey match. Yeah. I think I think that was the biggest, you know, that's, that's the twist to this, yeah. you know, just being a pure ice hockey manga. 
Um, I don't know how accurate it is to actual techniques used in ice hockey mm. uh, because uh, he does some moves. He does some twirls. He does some jumps. And I don't know how common that is in ice hockey. Yeah. But it was fucking hype in manga form. Yeah. When, <laughs> when he just starts skating past people. Um, and this is just a, you know, a by, you know, by the books sports manga that is just mm. very, very well executed yep. in ice hockey form. From the, from the author of Golden Kamui. Yeah, and I was going to say, like, Noda Satori, the creator of uh, Golden Kamui, he, like, even during Golden Kamui, if you've read it or watched it, he kind of has these, like, very unique beats to his storytelling, where it's like, it it's almost like the author doesn't take these characters and these settings seriously, and he kind of writes it in a way where, like, there's lots of, like, jokes thrown around and these, like, kind of absurdist parts in there and here and there. Yeah. But it all somehow still coalesces into a really solid story arc. Yeah. And, and like, an actual serious story arc. Yeah. And it's, like, it's it's a really unique way of storytelling that I haven't really seen many other manga authors do. Um, yeah. But Noda Satoru is, like, really good at it, and it's... Yeah. Yeah, he does it great in this one as well. Yeah. So how do you recommend this out? Uh, how do you recommend this? If you either like ice hockey or if you're Canadian, just hockey. Yeah. Uh, or um, sports manga. Yeah. Uh, this, this I think, is going to be... This This is going to pop off as yeah. a sports manga Definitely for unique. sports manga fans. Definitely unique. And I think there are more and more sports manga that are getting like more and more popular yeah. as well. And this is the first time I've seen an ice hockey manga. Same. And I think that was like the biggest selling point of this mm. one. Definitely. Uh so, very much more interesting in ice hockey now because it looks brutal, but <laughs> fun as hell. W Canadians. Yes, you got representation. W Canadians. You guys, just get into go- you guys just get to go into fights in your sport and just call that part of the sport, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That is yeah. awesome. It's like, oh, what if we just beat each other up, eh? Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Top three. Top three. In third place with the bronze medal for the print manga category, it is... Oh. Skimmy Ogami and the Strange Everyday Life. Yes, this is. I n- fucking love this. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Let, let this me one. let me get my notes for this one. <laughs> yeah, let, let, me, me, let me get my notes. Let me get my notes for this one because I read this a few days ago. Uh, uh so I wrote Monster Musume Slice of Life. Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> I wrote I wrote. <laughs> Didn't sound bad. I wrote in all caps. Um. This girl is fucking adorable. <laughs> oh shit. This is just a furry gateway manga. <laughs> it is. 100%. It is, it is not etchy. Uh, it I'm is like, not dog, etchy. Why, you didn't, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm just like, I just want to say to the author. Yeah. You didn't have to make the character so cute, dog. Now yeah. we're questioning ourselves. Yeah. So this is closely related to a lot of anime that I've seen thus far. Yeah. Uh, kind of, it's kind of similar to the teasing genre. Yes. But it's not so much teasing, but it definitely is about a guy uh, and her and his blossoming relationship with this fucking adorable girl yeah um so this is set in a world where it's not just humans there are like werewolves there are vampires there are all sorts of different beings and the main girl is like a werewolf is she half werewolf i can't remember no she 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 is a werewolf like she is a wolf girl she is a full werewolf right and it's just a, a very nice comfy slice of life romance manga See, is there romance in there i would say like rom-com maybe maybe not romance but yeah. like even even calling it that is hard because it's yeah. like as you said it's like it's teasing on romance it's teasing on yeah. romance it's like it giving you ever so subtle hints where it's like it could go in like a romance direction or it could just stay as a wholesome one yeah yeah and that's what I love about it. <laughs> yeah, because I, the the thing I loved about this is that um, you know there there are some other titles that occupy the same space that that I would say the main duo don't have a great chemistry with each sure. other. I fucking love the chemistry yeah. between the main duo of this one. Yeah, uh, because what makes them work is that there is this guy, and he's he has this preconceived notion about having to be liked, having to be mm. accepted, so much so that it's become a big insecurity. Yeah. Meanwhile, he meets this werewolf girl who just does not give a fuck, yeah. man. She does what she wants. She says what she wants. She goes where she pleases. Yep. 
and he learns how to like accept himself mm. and you know become a better person mm. just by hanging out with her. Yeah, and it's just so nice and wholesome, and I love the chemistry they have together. Yeah, and the girl is fuck. I, I I'm gonna keep saying this. This is out of everything I've read, even like Rory Dragon. This girl, I was just like. <laughs> My heart, yeah. <gasps> my heart, oh, oh. Not to not to give too many of like the cute interactions away. Yeah, but there's that one interaction where like sniffing is involved. Oh, there's there's two. There's, oh, there, I'm, oh I'm, yeah, no, there's two. You're okay. Right, there, yeah. There's there's like a there's like a uh, there's two, and I was like, this is where I wrote down the the first note that I put <laughs> down. So there they there's this moment in class where she says that she's a werewolf, right? Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, you're a werewolf? Does that mean you're gonna turn into like a wolf during a full moon? And she's like, no, no, not all werewolves do that. And so what they do is they get this picture of a moon, right? And they show it to her. Yeah. And then she's like, <laughs> And then she's like, wait. Yeah, so she's like, just like, it's like, don't, don't scare me like don't, that. Don't scare me like that. Do you, you're scaring me in like the most like fucking cute blush face I could ever, you could ever imagine. And I'm like, did I just fucking, did my heart just go doki doki over a fucking girl? Oh no. A, like fucking a howling. Wing? Yeah. I'm no, like, dude, I'm that, a, that scene, I yeah. was just like, oh, it's confirmed. I am a furry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I'm totally okay with yeah. it. Yeah. And the second scene is uh, they have this, werewolves have this greeting where they sniff each other. As, as a greeting and that's yeah. how that's how she, she introduces the main character to like werewolf culture yeah and so in one of the later chapters out of like out of nowhere that they're, they're just vibing and then he sniffs her and then it is they basically might as well just have, have just kissed yeah. at that point yeah because that was this like the same reaction and that got me the same emotional reaction no the, the part that fucked me up was like the guy just like is like well you know do as the Romans do and goes in and like sniffs her neck or whatever it is to be like, you know, as like a way of like saying like Yoroshiku or whatever. Yeah. And then the girl like turns around and she's like, you can do it how the humans do it with like a blush face. I was yeah. just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> stop! <laughs> <laughs> My heart. <gasps> oh, it's so yeah. cute. Yeah, this, it's just adorable, man. Oh, it's it's so just cute. adorable. Fuck. If you like your you know, anime in the teasing genre, whether it be, you know, something like Alia, which is a bit more cultured or mm. Nagatoro, which is a bit more towards the, like the bullying side of things yeah. or something that's a bit more wholesome, which this definitely is. Uh, check this one out because this, I think when this anime comes out, it is going to be, Next she is going to be one of those like girls in the season that just takes over. And yeah. then you see gifts of her everywhere. Yep. I'm calling it right now. Yep. Uh, she's, she's not only going to be that, but she's going to be, I can already see it. There's going to be two camps. There's one who is like, man, she's fucking cute, but I don't, I'm not a furry though. <laughs> and then there's the other camp who's like, I don't give a fuck if I'm a furry. She's <laughs> yeah. cute. Yeah. <laughs> I can already see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Hell yeah. Check this, this one out. Congratulations on third place. Good shit. Well done. Which means there are two left. Two left in the print category. In, in the print category. The silver medal, second place for the print manga category goes to... Oh. Boom. Boom. Welcome what? to Dima School, Irumakun. If episodes of Mafia. So this is a spin-off to Irumakun. My Inima which, Inima-kun, yeah. Which I unfortunately haven't read. Me so uh, I've only seen like the first episode of the anime for that right. one. And right. I know, I know I should read that one or watch that one because mm. everyone's told me some very, very good things about it. Okay. But I did read the first few chapters of this. Okay. And this also was it was it was just a nice comfy read. So mm. I believe it's in the middle of something like a gag manga to an action manga. Mm. In this one, Iruma Kun, I can't remember the plot of the original one, but in this one, Iruma Kun, uh, he saves uh, as a baby. He saves this random old man by giving him bread, mm. uh, and then it turns out that old man is the boss of a mafia, right? Okay. Uh, and so afterwards, he introduces him to his mafia family, uh. right? And then they go on wacky adventures together, <laughs> which is the best way I can describe this okay. because I don't know- So it's like episodic? 
Or, kind of, yeah. kind of. It's kind of like episodic. It kind of uh, reminds me of something maybe like Spy Family. Okay. Where okay. It's, it's got a little bit of action, a little bit of comedy, mm. um, but it's just just a nice, you know, comfy show. You know exactly right. what you're getting. And every time eventually Rumakun grows up and becomes the boss of this mafia family. Mm. And then they have to solve different problems every single week. So a question, do you have to have read or watch Irumakun to enjoy this? Um, you don't because I had no idea about Irumakun okay. at all. But so this is, uh, from what I understand, something completely removed from the original okay. Irumakun story. Okay. Uh, again, going into like the assassin mafia, yep. kind of like spy <laughs> We've seen action comedy, seen. which seems to be the trend. Yep. And they've added it to Irumakun. Sick. And yeah, uh, I only read a few chapters of this, mm -hmm. so I can't say as much as other ones. Yeah, I didn't get the chance to read this one, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah but this definitely is in that same vein. And Hell yeah. there are a lot of fun characters in this. Mm. Um, so if you're looking for like one of the, you know, another like Spy Family, Kindergarten manga, no, Kindergarten Wars manga, <laughs> yeah. that that came out wrong. This, uh, this is the manga for you. All right. Congratulations. Hell yeah, second place. All right, uh, we are running out of tables. Yeah, we are. It's so much manga. Which dude. means we have to go to the winner. Gold medal. Of the print manga category. Joey, do you want to do the honors for yes. this one? The first place right. in the print manga category, unsurprisingly, goes to... Oh. The manga of all time. Oh. Kagurabachi, oh. baby. Oh. We did it. We Woo. did it. We fucking did it, chat! Let's go. We did it! The, the greatest, greatest manga ever made! <laughs> <laughs> the greatest! That's why it's the GOATS! It's the so GOATS! Funny. The funniest thing, like, you know, when. So, if you're not aware, when was it? Last year? Year before? I think it was last year. Last year. There were yeah. all these memes on Twitter, on Anna Twitter, of just people. Looking at Kagura, the, the the first volume of this hadn't even come out. I don't even think the first chapter had even come out. It was just like literally this teaser pic yeah. of this manga and the title had come out. And someone decided to start this meme of saying like, yo, Kagura Bachi is the most goaded manga ever the greatest, created. The greatest to ever be created. It got so big to the point where the author of Kagura Bachi was like, wow, people overseas are like really looking forward to my manga. <laughs> and it saved so, my life. Kagura Bachi yeah, saved my yeah, life. Kagura Bachi saved my life. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen fans are like, oh no, it's Kagura Bachi. Oh. <laughs> and so that meme existed and you know, we're all ha ha laughing about yeah. it. Uh, so, you know, obviously when I first, uh, so this first volume actually came out a little while ago. I think there's currently like two or three volumes out right yeah. now. So I actually picked up this first volume the day it came out. Yeah. Cause I was like, all right, look, I know it's a meme and everything, but I'm genuinely curious to see what this manga is like. Yeah. Actually goaded. <laughs> like this manga is actually fucking I, awesome. So, so <laughs> I saw when, when we were given the winners for this, uh, for the, the, the list of winners that we had to read for yeah. this award show, I saw Kagura Bachi at number one. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, it's, it's, it's real. It's not just a meme. It's not just a meme. It's, it's actually good. It's, it is really good. The it's meme that was said it was good, I, un like ironically turned into an unironic meme. Yeah, like, it's like good, the good. The community actually foresaw into the future and actually figured out that this manga was actually really good. Yeah. So well done to that. But so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, to, uh, just, here's the thing. I saw a lot of chat just have the same reaction as me yeah. where I'm like, wait, it's like, are, are we memeing right now? No. And I'm like, no, no, it's not just a meme. It the is meme actually- is, The meme is dead. The it's, meme is dead. It's actually good. It is actually good. <laughs> it is actually, it is unironically actually good. And I honestly think, I honestly think this might be the next big thing. I, 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 I honestly so think this might be the next I big thing. I actually think so too. Um, <laughs> unironically, it already is as a meme. All it needs to do, and you know, the meme compared to Jujutsu Kaisen, like yeah. the, the Jujutsu Kaisen, like brain rot memes we've yeah. seen before, that that ain't nothing, you no. know? I, I, can, I can see now that JJK is ending, all those fans need to jump to something. Oh yeah. And uh, Kagura Bachi, Kagura Bachi is like sweating right now. Yeah. Being like, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> like, we're about to get a yeah. big horde of people coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the basic premise of it is that you have uh, the main character who is the son of this legendary blacksmith mm -hmm. who has craft, who has 
uh, not crafted, what's, what's the word, who has made mm. six legendary swords that yep. have like saved the world from war because of how OP mm. these swords are. And so chapter one, uh, chapter one ends with his father, the swordsmith, being murdered by some sorcerers or mm. something like some that. Some secret organization. Some secret organization because there are sorcerers in this world and uh, they are all hunting down these legendary swords that this master has made. Mm. And so the main basic plot line of this is the main character with a secret seventh sword that his dad crafted, going around trying to find the six swords that mm. his dad made so he can get them back. Yep. Um, and that is the basic flow of the manga. Mm. Uh, what you need to know is that there are magic swords. Each of these legendary swords has a different ability, a yep. different magic power system. There are sorcerers there that can use magic. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a shonen action manga. Yeah. You know, it has got everything you'd expect from a shonen action manga. And that's not to say to its demerits. That is to say that it is working on the framework of a lot of other successful shows, mm. but giving it its own kind of like twist, giving it its, yeah. giving it its own vibe. You know, it. it's that whole thing of like, don't try and fix something that's not broken. And yeah. I think Kagurabachi has just perfectly taken every element that, we, you know, maybe some people have seen from past shonen manga, mm -hmm. but has just combined it in a way where it's definitely unique in and of its own. And fuck me, man. The art style is so good in this. The art style is great. The action is really, really good. Really the powers, good. The powers are interesting so mm. far. I'd love to see how far they take this power system. Yeah. Um, and like, like someone in chat said, the paneling is pure cinema. Yeah, yeah, the paneling. Like one thing that I really, what the, the big reason why I really think this is going to blow up is because nowadays, you know, you can kind of you can kind of tell there's a balance into what kind of trends are doing well in Shonen right now, mm. and this feels so perfectly like right in in the get go. It feels like the vibe is right in the middle of JJK and Chainsaw Man. It's like definitely a little bit edgier. There's yeah. like a lot like that. I was I was actually gonna say it might even have a little bit of Demon Slayer in there as well. A little bit of Demon Slayer as yeah. well, right? It's it's because it's it's a little bit edgier there's mm -hmm. like i mean there's a scene where this poor girl gets her like fucking you know legs chopped off yeah um in like some of the early chapters i'm like damn okay go okay yeah. god damn but it's not as it's not tatsuki fujimoto weird it's yeah. not chainsaw man weird yeah you know so it's there's some fucking gory scenes in this yeah th there are some violent and gory scenes yeah. in there but nothing to the nothing to the, the weirdness that you see in chainsaw man but yeah. still a little bit, you know, it's not as clean as Demon Slayer or My Hero Academia. Mm. It's got that, it's got that swag to it. That yeah, JJK and also has. like again, like very f another very Fujimoto esque style that I could see in this manga as well is the way that characters interact with one another. Like I don't like you, you read this first volume, right? All the yeah, way. yeah. Like you know that like little girl character that gets introduced. Yeah, her dialogue is just like so off. But in yeah. like a really funny way yeah. where you're just like, you don't know. Like, she's one of those characters where you're like, I don't know what the fuck you're going to say next. Yeah. But it's going to be a banger no matter what you say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's like, it also has that like kind of unique storytelling method in that sense and character building as well, where it's like, there's this kind of shroud of mystery around every single character where you can't quite figure out at the moment how everyone operates necessarily. Mm -hmm. But that... I think level of mystery, especially this early on in the story as well, just like keeps people hooked. Like it, it, it not only keeps people hooked on like where the actual story is going, but it's also like, how are these characters going to develop with one another? And like the, the dynamics between another uh, one another, how is that going to build as well? And you combine that with like some pretty like dope and unique power ups. You combine that with sick paneling and action, yeah. like yeah, yeah. So I've heard. So when when we when this was announced as the winner, mm. um, I only read one volume, and that was already very very good. But mm. I'd heard from people, uh, specifically my editor, who had read, who's up to date with Kagurabachi. Yeah. Um, the latest arc is when it really, you know, it starts off good, and it just gets even better. Right. And the latest arc is apparently what puts it into like another the goat status yeah 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 to to like oh this is like 
good, good okay, okay. status. Hell yeah. Um, yes, and just started its third arc. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it looks like a lot of chat okay, is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. agreeing with me right now that Hell the yeah. second arc is just peak shonen. Right. And uh, so the memes were right. <laughs> the memes were the memes were fucking right. Apparently, all I'm gonna say is, man, if fucking Ufotable doesn't get on this shit, <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh. I'm gonna write. Oh. <laughs> you foldable. You need to get on this shit, dog. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. With this Unless one. Mappa comes along, being Unless like, Mappa comes along, it's like, like it's ours now, baby. Like, hey yo, hey yo, what? Hey yo, <laughs> Just what? Comes out from behind the tree, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think it's like now it's. It just seems like all the pieces are in place just mm. for this to just take over. Yeah. Uh, within the next few years, now that JJK and My Hero Academia are just ending mm. like within the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and this second arc seeming to be popping off, like all the pieces are in place for this to become one of the next bigger shows. Mm. And I'm already waiting for the anime adaptation of this, yeah. which uh, yeah. So um, that is the number one winner of the print manga. I'm sure we're going to be referring back to this <laughs> moment in like four or five years yeah. when we're like, yeah, Kagurabachi, remember when that was the award <laughs> for the next manga award? <laughs> Where the winner of the next manga awards. So hopefully it ages well hell and yeah. uh, and uh, it continues to get better. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So congratulations to our winners, but that is not it because oh. we ha have a few more categories okay. to go through. First up is the global category Ooh. where all of these winners you've seen so far have been voted on purely just by the Japanese audience, but we have some awards that the global audience have voted for. Okay. Uh, so do we want to say the winner of the global category? Please do. It is. Oh. Yeah. My girlfriend's not here today. That's not just me saying that. That's it's that's the title of the manga. Also, my girlfriend's not here today. She's like, uh, <laughs> my, uh, yeah, my wife is not here today, yeah. and uh, I'm glad she's not after reading this manga. Oh, uh, this is a spicy oh, meatball. Oh, can you tell? Can you tell by the? Uh, can you tell by the cover chat? Look at the look at look at the cover chat. Look at the cover chat. What what do you think? What do you what kind of what kind of vibe? Does it, does this elicit? Jack? I knew exactly. Well, actually, well, I had an idea of what I was getting into. I yeah. was like, oh, okay. This is going to like, you know, have a little hint of Yuri in it, which I'm totally down yeah. for. Might be a little bit spicy as Yuri manga tends to be. And I was like, oh, this is spicy. All right. Oh, oh this Ooh. is probably the spiciest manga that Ooh. has won an award today. Congratulations, Hell English yeah. speakers for, <laughs> for, for appreciating the spice. I, my audience didn't do shit, man, but I would have voted for this one is what I'm saying. Uh, so this, um, this manga is about a girl mm -hmm. who is secretly dating another girl. Ooh. So it is just a straight up Yuri manga. Let's Love just say it. that straight Love up. Love it. Um, but she made a mistake. She made a venting Twitter. She made a yep. Twitter just to vent. <sighs> she made and an alt account. It is, it is the single worst alt account I've ever seen in my life, right? Because she's dating this girl, but she wants to keep it a secret. So yeah. what does she do? She makes an alt account talking about her dating this girl and being sad about having to keep it secret yeah. while also posting pictures of herself in this alt account. Actual dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> And so <laughs> these hoes can't be trusted, bro. <laughs> and so she's like really sad because they have to keep their relationship a secret in like the public school setting, right? Yeah. And so she's posting by herself and her girlfriend is just off doing something because she's uh, her girlfriend is in like a sports club or something. Mm -hmm. So she's posting about how sad she is, uh, posts a picture. And then this random girl finds her and she's like, Hey, are you uh you you feeling a bit lonely? You you are you uh, how how are you doing? You look you look uncomfortable there by yeah. yourself. And she's like, "Hello, what's what's going on? Yeah. Uh, why are you here?" But also immediately tweets, "I'm not lonely anymore, guys." Yeah. <laughs> and then just continues the conversation. So this girl comes on very strongly yeah. to her to uh, to preface. She has never even held the hands 
of her girlfriend because yep. that's how much of a secret they want to uh, keep it. Well, the, the other girl wants to keep it. The other, uh, yeah. yeah, the other girl wants to the keep it. The main girl is like, oh, no, fuck that. I want to show yeah. it to the world. So this girl on the cover comes along, immediately grabs her hand, and the girl's like, this ain't cheating. This this, <laughs> this this ain't cheating. This this is not cheating. This, 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 this. She literally, there's a scene where she literally opens up her phone and asks chat GPT, is hand holding cheating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, yo chat, is this cheating? If, yeah. Is it cheating if I hold hands with another girl even though it's not my girlfriend? Yo chat, is this okay? So <laughs> she comes onto her a couple of times in like, yeah. you know, ways where it's like kind of swindling her being like, oh man, she's kind of like weird and like slightly, you know, like, insensitive in a way but like what is this feeling that i'm getting from her yeah what, what is this and then after a couple of times the girl you know keeps consistently coming back to the main character until one day she's like dog found your old account <laughs> <laughs> and uh and she's like shit how did you know yeah. but also i don't want to delete my old account <laughs> which was like the biggest thing and i'm like Dog, just fucking delete the account. Just she, delete the account. she, you just got docs, dog. There is like, no, no, there's literally a scene where she's like, I, the way she's like, I'm gonna lock this alt account. Oh wait, she follows me though, so she's still gonna be able to see it. But I don't want to delete it because I yeah. have 400 followers. And yeah. I'm like, dog, delete the account. Yeah. What are you doing? It's 400 yeah. followers. No, do you want to know the part? I was losing my mind. Yeah. I so there's there's multiple parts. Well, the well the first time I was like. What the fuck? She so she finally, finally gets to go on a date with her fucking girlfriend, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, she's like, I really want to tweet this, but I don't want that girl to see. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tweet this, but delete it before she sees it. Yeah, that's not how the fucking internet works, girl. That is not how the internet works, bro. You tweet it, you you think she's not going to immediately see it, which she does, by the way, yeah. because she has notifications yeah. on. <laughs> Because that's what she, she's a crazy stalker girl. So I don't know why you're tweeting this shit thinking she's not going to see it. So what happens? The girl stalks them on that date. Yeah. And then she starts taking picture and she's like, oh, so you're dating that. Oh. So, so this secret, this secret you're trying to keep. Oh, so it's that girl. And you guys are going in the same school. Oh, I know this now. I, I know this. I, I got the tea. And I'm like, oh my God, why would you do this? Why would you do this? And then, and th so I'm getting heated now. And then, and then on their anniversary, they finally agree on another date. And what happens? She, uh, the girl is waiting to uh, hear from her girlfriend on their like sixth month anniversary. Yeah. And uh, what happens is this girl self inserts herself into her being like, don't worry, I'll hang out with you before the anniversary. Yeah, don't yeah. worry, we, we got this, we got this. Uh, and then, um, and then don't know why the girl doesn't text her. The girl doesn't message her. And it's because it's because like she's like really busy in her club activities. Oh, that's right, that's and it's right. Like and and that's all she's thinking about. She's like, "Yo, I'm the captain of the new team. Yo, that's fucking insane." And yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'll stick around for practice all day, all weekend. I, yeah. I don't have anything going on anyway. Yeah, and and so and so what happens is uh, she she doesn't message her because even though it's their sixth month anniversary mm. and she's like, I don't believe it. She doesn't love me. She doesn't she's care the about <laughs> She's for and, and then and then so this this side this side chick comes along being like, May she never loved you. <laughs> I, I'ma treat you better. I'ma treat you better. Don't don't worry about it. I'm, like, I'm, yo, these hoes ain't loyal. This, this, I got you though. This, these hoes they for the streets. For the I'm street. loyal. I'm loyal. Don't worry, ho. I'm, I'ma treat you better. <laughs> and the main girl's like, you know what? You know what? Maybe maybe it is. You're maybe right. it is. Chat is this still cheating? Is yeah. this still cheating? You know what? If it's cheating, it's her fault. Yeah. It's 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 the girl's fault. And then and then they kiss, right? Yeah. And then they and then they kiss and they make out and she's like, Yeah, she deserved this. Uh she ignored me on my six month anniversary uh six month anniversary. Uh it's her fault I'm cheating. And I yeah. just put the book down in anger and I'm like <sighs> Where's volume two? I need it right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, it literally ends. Volume one literally ends on the kiss scene and the girl saying, I'm she in, in Japanese, she says word for word. I'm going to completely erase everything out of you. <laughs> and I was like, yo, she's fucking crazy, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, um, so uh, well done global audience. Um, 
fire taste. I will say that. Good you taste. know, you know, in the sea of Yuri manga, you picked the spiciest one I've ever read, and it goes hard as fuck. So. All that was just in volume one. I thought that was twenty volumes. No, that's yeah. volume one. That's volume one. That's literally the first four chapters. So yeah, four chapters. That happens. <laughs> four chapters. Jesus, fucking insane. I need to read the rest of them. Um, yeah, I am going to be reading volume two. Uh, good taste. Uh, English speakers, uh, <laughs> check this one out. Yeah, please do. I, um, I'm still angry. Yeah. I, I, I knew when I, I got irrationally like angry at what the characters were doing, I was like, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in, I'm, I'm in, I'm in this, I'm in this. <laughs> oh my God. So that was the English speaking global prize. Hell yeah. The next one is the traditional Chinese uh, speaking prize. Okay. I believe, which is. Oh. oh <clears throat> Isekai Samurai. Is Samurai style. in Another World, oh, which. I was like, this is, is a Gaunt manga. Is about to. I'm, I'm going to say the yeah. English speaking manga and the traditional Chinese speaking. They, 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 they cooking. <laughs> they cooking. All right. They cooking, I, man. They I, cooking. I didn't get to read this one, but I will say right off the bat, I fucking love this art style. This yeah. art style looks sick. This uh, this was the biggest thing I liked about this art style. So this is an isekai. Uh-huh. Uh, Ain't no way. <laughs> it is about a samurai uh -huh. that gets isekai Yeah. Um, it's exactly what it says on the title. And right. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, the one thing that makes it different is, uh, so the main girl is just a crazy samurai girl mm. who all she wants to do is to die <laughs> she wants so she okay. she she's a crazy strong samurai but uh she, she's during a war her entire unit gets wiped out right. except for her so all she wants so she goes on like a fucking bloodlust murder street being like find me a strong opponent so i can have a hero's death right and so you think so i thought okay Someone's gonna kill her and she's gonna get isekai all right. That's what's gonna happen. No, she literally runs out of opponents. So she goes to a Buddha statue being like, please Buddha, please just find me a strong opponent. And Buddha's like, all right. And just teleports her to another world. <laughs> and okay. that's it. Wow. And so she wakes up and she finds uh, demons, dragons, goblins and everyone. Yeah. And she just goes around the world fucking shit up and just uh, trying to find a strong opponent. Damn. That's it. Uh, the biggest thing that is good about this is just the art. The art and the action is really, really, yeah. really, really good. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is a very, very fun manga mm -hmm. and it's exactly what it sounds like, but it just, it's just executed very, very well. Hell yeah. So, Highly recommend this one for any isekai fans out there. This is not like your generic isekai protagonist that you've seen many, many times before. All right. Uh, this chick is a lot of fun. Oh, I yeah. very enjoyed it. I very, very much enjoyed this. Isekai fans, samurai fans, isekai samurai fans. Isekai, isekai fans, <laughs> samurai fans, come together, baby. Oh yeah. All right. All right. We're on to the final prize two. though. Final two oh, final prizes. Final two prizes, excuse we me. We have two prizes because Unex did sponsor the next manga awards or the mm -hmm. Sugiman awards. So they have two uh, prizes that came from their side of things. Okay. So up next we have, oh, wait. Which one is it? We have this one oh, again, which oh. won the UNEX prize for the print edition. Damn. Which had already, we've already talked about. Won two prizes? God yeah, damn. it won two prizes. Well done. Uh, so that's, Shoujo fans are like, that's this is how- <laughs> Shoujo fans are like, we did it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did it. That's how much they liked this manga. So uh, UNEX, congratulations to Fall In Love, You False Angels for winning the UNEX prize as well as, uh, as well as the other category yeah. as well. But and there's also another Unix prize, right? Another Unix prize, yes. The oh. final prize of the night goes to, oh. Ooh. What is that, Joey? Uh, longest title ever. <laughs> Gals casually say incredible things, the daily life of a paranormal high school. <laughs> what does that mean, Joey? <laughs> so you didn't read this one? No, I didn't okay. read this one. So I read this one this morning. Just okay. cause I read this title and I was like, what? <laughs> sure, okay. I like gals, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, Chow so, Ch was like, Garus, I'm paying yeah, attention. Garus, listen, Garu pay lovers, listen up. Yeah. So this one is another, this one, the vibe of this one is so 
bizarre. And I mean that in like a good way because it's it's one of the most unique like slice of life manga I've ever read. So essentially there's this world that it's, it's set in a world where it looks like the normal world, but kind of like My Hero Academia, everyone has like a power or like a quirk, mm-hmm. right? But there's no like, you know, Academy for Heroes or anything like that, like in My Hero. Like, no, this is literally just, everything is as standard as normal. Like people go to school, go to class, you know, do all of that, have friends, whatnot. But every single person has these like quirks. Right. Uh, so the, our main character is this kind of like, he kind of reminds me of like uh, Hachiman from Origairu, the main character from oh, Origairu, okay, where okay. he's like kind of like just, you know, like cold shoulder, like, you know, more of like an observer type, uh, observer type uh, protagonist rather than one that kind of fully gets involved. Right. Um, so he's observing from across his classroom, these two gyarus. Now the blonde gyaru on the left-hand side of the cover, her quirk is that she can see into the future. Okay. The girl on the right, her quirk is that she can tr- teleport to parallel universes. Oh, that's what? Yeah. Yo, that sounds interesting. So the manga literally <laughs> starts off with these, it, the majority of the manga kind of focuses on these two gyarus uh, and like their kind of dynamic about it where they talk like normal gyarus where it's like, you know, a little bit more on the, the, the harsher side of like speech and whatnot, like, like gyarus are in real life. Mm-hmm. But they're also just casually talking about shit like, you know, the girl like stands up for a little bit and she's like, yeah, I just saw into the future. Uh, I'm going to get 12% on this test tomorrow. <laughs> and then the, the girl on the right is like, do you want to go to a different universe then? <laughs> and what is like, this? Like it, Rick and Morty? Yeah, like, yeah, it's literally that. It's just like, okay. So then they teleport to a different parallel universe and, and the main character gets like trapped along with them. And then he's and then it's like, all right, how's this universe? And it's like, no, nah, I actually do worse in this universe. It's like, all right, let's go to a different one then. And so it's, it's this like weird, like kind of like almost avant-garde comedy where like there isn't exactly like any gags or anything, but just yeah. the thi- as the title says, the things that these characters are saying sound so normal yeah. in their conversation, but are absolutely just like off the walls in terms of like the theory of it all. Right, so it's like these girls are talking like they're fucking talking about like you know their favorite idols or whatever, but they're yeah. actually talking about like yeah, I just saw into the future. All right, let's go to a parallel universe then. And it's this, this really like, weird slice of life. This is like some like Gadu Rick and Morty anime. It's like, it manga, literally sorry, is, yeah. manga. Yeah, it's like Gadu Rick and Morty. It's the only way to describe <laughs> it. And there are these other characters that show up. Like uh, there's this uh, character, like the the main character's best friend is this guy whose ability is that he can create a black hole anywhere. Ooh. Okay, um, and like, there's definitely a lot of space for all sorts of different like story elements to evolve, and you know, while at the same time involving these two main Gyaru characters. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's there's uh, I like to describe these kind of manga as like Nichijoke, where like it really is just like it's even more slice of life than a slice of life. If that makes sense. It's like it's almost like the point of these kinds of manga is to not necessarily have like a plot or a story or a joke. It literally feels like you are just glimpsing into the life of a person where nothing exceptional happens. But in this case, this is more like a parody of that in which all these characters have these like absurd powers that they just use casually. Yeah. And like in everyday conversation. So this one was like a really unique manga. I am sold by yeah. that. I, um, I, I definitely want to read it now. Yeah. It's uh, really interesting. Because I didn't get to read it before. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, congratulations for its winning the U Next Prize Web Edition. Hell yeah! <clears throat> and uh, congratulations to all of the winners. Yeah. Uh, for this, uh, we had a we had, we had a lot of winners today. We had this, a lot. Of, this was a lot, lot longer of, of, of a stream that we were live for. Chat. Yeah. Chat. Chat. I see you, <laughs> Mount Tyre. Yeah. You Nori. Yeah. Yeah. See. <laughs> see. This is live. This isn't a recording. Chat. All right. All right. Yeah. But uh, check out all of these manga if you want a peek into what could be or Mm. what I really do think is going to be some of the hottest titles coming out in the next few years. Hell yeah. What was, uh, you have to pick, if you have to pick one, Joey, if you have to pick (sighs) one. If I had to pick one? Yeah. I think I'd have to say Centuria. Centuria? Yeah. Your pick? Centuria is probably my pick. Like this was just like, it, it just has everything that I love in a dark fantasy. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And it's and it just has such a cool premise as well, and such a sick art style as well. Like I want to know where this is going. So yeah. if I had to pick, probably Centuria. Yeah. What about you? Well, uh, obviously, I got to pick. Uh, I got to pick the greatest <laughs> manga of all time. It saved my life, chats. Kagurabachi, you heard it here first. It is the greatest manga to ever be made. It is the greatest anime to never be made because it's not out yet. It's literally saved my life. Jujutsu Kaisen fans are on suicide watch because this is out right now. My Hero Academia fans have jumped off the side of the earth. Naruto fans are forgotten. Kagurabachi, you've heard it here first. Go read it, guys. I'm so glad you did that bit because I was going to do it too. <laughs> I'm like, nah, you know what? I'll leave. We're on the same brain, so I'll leave it up to God. <laughs> but unironically, yes. Fucking Rika Grabachi. It's unironically. Actually, it's actually good. Unironically, yes. If I had to pick another one, I'd probably say Lemon. 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 Yeah. Lemon. Lemon. Yeah, I like lemon. 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 Lemon, just enough spice. Yeah, like lemon, just enough the spice. wolf go on, Cosmos. Oh, this, this, this one as one. well. This one as well. This one. So so many bangers this year, man. So many bangers. Yeah, so many bangers this year. And uh, Jump popped off this year oh as well. God, jump absolutely popped jump, off this year. Jump plus Young Jump are like the majority of these. Man, yeah. They're just, they're just cooking. Yeah. yeah. Just fucking the, cooking. The amount, the amount I saw uh, that was like, oh, I can read this on my Shonen Jump app. That yeah. makes it uh, very convenient. Crazy. But that was it for the next Manga Awards, guys. If you want to check out more information about any of these winners, just click that link in the pinned chat. I think I'm pointing in the right direction. Wherever it is. is. If you're watching on the YouTube VODs, then just click that link in the description. Um, Sorry? Uh, Oh, oh, thank you very much to Bookwalker. (laughs) Daddy Bookwalker. (laughs) For Daddy Bookwalker. For sponsoring the stream and, uh, you know, coming in and uh, giving us so many great manga that we can, we got got to read because uh, I would not have discovered a lot of this manga if not, if not for, uh, if not for Bookwalker. Yeah. So hopefully we can do this next year as Thank well. Thank you, Daddy Bookwalker, for single-handedly keeping my anime career alive. <laughs> Thank you very much, Daddy Bookwalker, for making me a manga reader. Yeah. <laughs> without without it, uh, I'd have to rely on Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it from me for today. Guys, I will be streaming again this weekend if you want to catch that. If you want to catch my Genshin Marathon when I go through the final arc of Fontaine. Joe, you're going to catch that, right? You're going to catch that, right, Joey? No, because next month I'm doing my pop-up in Shibuya. Nonsense pop-up. If you're in Japan during the 13th to the 29th of (laughs) September and you're in Tokyo, come to Shibuya. We're going to be selling new clothes. You guys saw it already. Uh, yeah. Sorry for the plug. I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> no, I didn't, you can, I didn't run this by going. You can, you, you, you can do the plug, but okay, yeah. they're not going to show up. You need to touch grass to go there. Joe. Yeah. Oh yeah. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but Shit. I will be, I will be, okay, I, I will be touching, you. I will be touching virtual grass. And if you want to touch grass as well, uh, and you're in Japan, go check up Jerry's pop up. Hell yeah. Cause, uh, it is going to be, uh, be fantastic. Anyway, though, uh, that's it from me for today. I've been Giguk and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.